Oh Daddy, my God. Daddy, your tongue feels amazing. Uh. It's better not awaken anything in me. That sounds so inappropriate. <laughs> My name is Jazzy Guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Bang and Rampa V3, Killing Harmony, baby. Angie is dead, and she is surrounded by other dead people, but they're not real. So it's like, it's like seeing five dead people in a room. And I did notice that there was like a, a sword stuck into Kaede's body. So it's kind of like somebody trying to kill her twice. I don't know. <laughs> but before I dive on that, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like for your girl from social media and other stuff, and let's begin. <sighs> so that Atua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. <laughs> Atua, please take care of Angie. <laughs> hey, why did it end up like this? Didn't Angie have Atua with her? You don't know? Clearly she did it. Weird. That not true. Angie say Atua always by our side. <laughs> We don't have time to be talking about this. Instead of talking about right? Tua, yeah, we gotta talk about which one of us is the culprit and when this killing really? game. Wait, this this is part of the killing That's game? That's right. What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead can only mean one thing. One of us killed no her. No way! But why would someone do such an awful thing? Is that really what happened? Huh? Huh? Oh, are they trying to say that it's a suicide? Maybe? Or accidental death? Hmm. It's possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but... Lord, what? What do y'all want, man? What? Look at three of y'all. <laughs> now her, now her vomit is green. Okay, a vomit-soaked entrance. How novel! And the puke is green again too. That's a pretty ominous sign. Why did another murder happen? What's the deal, Mana Jam? I thought you were gonna make everyone get along. Don't worry. <laughs> Overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. <laughs> that has been the case so far, yes. <laughs> Their bond gets stronger with each class trial, does it not? <laughs> Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. <laughs> but how? So let's get started. <laughs> we are all Conduct a friendly investigation, then we will have a friendly class trial. <laughs> we must distribute these first. What is that? Okay, the Monokuma files. Okay. All right. Oh, oh look, the Monokuma file. I wanted to be the one to pass it out. Didn't you want to do it too, Monofini? No. By the way, I've been thinking you guys should knock off all this killing and dying. Dying is like so lame. Lying is living. <laughs> it's all the rage these days. Oh, God. There's a more green puke. This is really unlucky. <laughs> so long. Farewell. I just love modern damage, y'all couldn't know this. There's no use complaining. We are better off beginning our investigation. So everyone, we all know what we need to do, yeah. yes? Yep, I mean, by the third murder, we should all be pretty used to this. Wait. No, not Gota. No way Gota ever get used nope. to this. Trust me, you don't want to be used to this. No one should get used to this. Oh, Maki, I'm so sorry that your family forced you to do that stuff. I'm, I'm so sorry. I am. <laughs> That's nice and all, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Ooh, <laughs> she's like, you can be next, okay? You can be. Unfortunately. Let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. You're right. That's true. All right, y'all. But still, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of a dead, hung upside down in the room, and in the middle, Angie's body in a pool of blood. It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Shuichi. All right, bro, I'm counting on you as my sidekick. Let's end this nightmare together. Sir, you didn't do anything as my sidekick. You didn't do a thing at all, okay? Just say you don't want to do work. Just say it. Okay. Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaito? Okay. We seriously don't have time to be talking about this. No way we're gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna find the Seems culprit. Like... The culprit? Is it really someone among us that killed Angie? Hmm. I get how you feel, Sunigi, but do you have to repeat that title line every time? I'm like, yeah, like, why? Why? I agree with you, Kikuchi. Why are we repeating this? You've already said this. We've addressed it. Um, oh, no, that's not it. I mean, could this have been the work of the transfer student? Uh, huh? Uh, and she prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? And she made those wax dolls hanging upside down as part of the ritual. Be. Maybe the ritual succeeded and the resurrected person killed her. Uh, oh, oh, you know what? That's not... That's not far off. That may, that may work. I don't know. Hey. What? Shut up already. What? It's her fault. Telling scary stories out of nowhere like that? Saying messed up stuff like that? Uh, um, <laughs> Kaito, are you all right? Damn. Sure. Sorry, Shuichi. I need to get some fresh air. I'll leave this to you and Maki. Do a good job, you guys. 
He's like, I'm gonna get out of here. I don't want no parts of no ghost. <laughs> Kaito left still a bit wobbly. <sighs> Do a good job. That coward has a lot of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> Uh, maybe that wasn't the best way to phrase it, but he just wants Jeez. to encourage. You've clearly settled right into your sidekick role. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. With so few people left, I can't afford to sit out anymore. Well. So where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file first, right? You're right. Yeah, let's take a look. Okay. So let's see the cause of death, because we don't know. Okay, the victim is Angie Yonaga, the ultimate artist. Oh, she's 5'1", she's kind of short. <laughs> the body was found in the ultimate artist lab. The time of death is approximately two in the morning. The, cake, the cause of death is a stab wound to the back of the neck. The forehead also has a laceration. Somebody stabbed her in the back of the neck? My God. Hmm. The Monokuma file included the time of death this time. Hmm. 2 a.m., everyone must have been asleep. We probably can't rely on witness testimonies. But so the murder happened at nighttime after all. If everyone had followed the student council's rules like Angie Atua said, what good will saying that do? The culprit may be one of the student council. Why? Yes, a member of the student council. All That's, right. We should go and figure that out. Let's start investigating and solve this mystery together. It's uh, impossible. Oh, I can't. Kimiko? Kimiko? Yeah. I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But, but if we don't make it through the class trial, then everyone will whatever. die. I don't care anymore. Huh? Oh? Oh, so she's like, y'all could do what you want to do. She probably just wants to die herself. Maybe because she's so brainwashed by Angie that she thinks that now that their leader is dead, like there's no purpose to living anymore. That's what I'm thinking. What a pain. Surviving and everything else is too much of a pain. What was that? Then why don't we just use your magic to revive Please Angie? Please stop. This is no time for your mean-spirited taunts. Surviving her is clearly impossible. Is that so? We cannot say that with certainty now. Huh? Oh, excuse no. me? Well, of course resurrecting her is impossible, but I know a way we can speak with Angie. What, a seance? Maybe? You see. We can say, aha, a seance called the cage child. See, look, we here, we here. See, we here. <laughs> Seance? What are you to Seance? Play? What are you talking about? Cut it out. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this is no time for jokes. I am serious. Oh, I'm serious. This is for our investigation. Huh? For our investigation? Yes. If we speak with Angie, we can ask her who the culprit is and bring the case to a swift close. That would be the, the smartest thing to do and the fastest way to end the class trial, but knowing this game, it ain't gonna go that easy. It's not. It's not. First, a resurrection ritual, and now a seance? Are you messing with us? Do you us? understand? I would appreciate it if you didn't compare it to Monokuma's foolishness. <laughs> Seances are genuine occurrences. They are written in literature of the world over. In fact, I myself have participated in seances a great many times. <gasps> many times? On top of that, we have here a rare chance to perform the legendary seance to Kate's child. It would be foolish to not take advantage of this, yes? No. No matter how you put it, that's now is not the time for something. Uh, oh, I suspect the only way to confirm your earlier theory is by performing the seance. What? Yes. My earlier theory, yes. the possibility of the culprit being the resurrected transfer student. It is not wise to go into the class trial and such outlandish theories in one day. So to prove such a thing impossible, I think it's best we consult Andrew. Incomprehensible. Incomprehensible. That logic is peculiar, to say the least, but he has a point, though. Y'all can't lie to here's a point. Um, Holding a seance to find out about the ritual, so we're gonna fight the occult with the occult. Okay. Well, we can't worry about this forever, so we might as well go with the easiest How solution. exciting. Okay, I'll help out. I was getting bored of investigating anyway. Huh? huh? Mm. I'll help huh? you. Huh? You too, I... Nico? If I can talk to Angie one more time, I'll do anything. A seance or whatever it takes, I'll well, do it. I'll help out as well. I can't leave Himiko alone. Do whatever you want. Do whatever yes. you want. Okay, I will. Jeez, okay. Himiko don't gotta treat Tenko like that. Tenko's just looking out for her. She gotta be having an attitude. Like, dispense of the attitude, okay? So now we have four participants. Kokichi, Himiko, Tenko, and myself. However, the cage child requires five people. We're still one short. Mm. Fine, then Keyboy can come too. You're right. I guess we can't be Why am I being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? Right, they treat me acting like he's like the last pick that they gotta choose for teams or something. Like, Jesus. So then, we need a place to perform the seance, shall we? Where shall we do it? Mm -hmm. How about your lab? Mm -hmm. No, in order for the cage child to succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. My lab has windows, so turning the lights off won't make it quite dark enough. Then, then how about the empty rooms? That's... Empty rooms? The ones on the first mm -hmm. floor? There aren't any windows there, so if we blow out the candles, it should be yeah. pretty dark. Sure, I'm fine with that. I agree with Kimiko. Of course thoughts. you do. <laughs> However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Then... Um, the middle room. The middle room's always best for stuff I like see. this. I see, yes. Very well, I shall begin the preparations at once. 
I shall have you for help as well. Let us carry all the necessary equipment to my uh, lab. Um, Are you really going to do, do this? Do you understand? This is for our investigation. I said as much, did I not? <laughs> we <laughs> they go to Windex again. We need to use all our efforts to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. Hmm. All right, let's go. Let's go into the ghost rooms. Kyo, Kokichi, Kibo, Tenko, and Kimiko all left the scene. Hmm. This is stupid. Are they serious about this stupid but seance? Perhaps it's just part of the investigation in their eyes. We should go with it. In any case, I should focus on what I can do. What the ultimate detective can do. That's right, Sherlock Squeechy. Let's get it. Let's investigate this. All right. Let's look at this, because this is very peculiar. What? No, not the back door. Damn, it just went right through Kayane's body. Okay. Whatever. This door is the lab back door. Is this? This door has a sliding lock, and it's still locked. That's true. And because no one has used this door since we came in here, I believe Angie locked this door when she came in, and it's been locked every time. <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? Look, there's something gold and shiny on the side on the tab of the sliding lock. Ooh, did they? Hold on. That's from the sword. That's from the sword. That's from the sword from from Kyo's lab. Okay, now I'm looking at Kyo and Kokichi because Kokichi was very interested in that sword. But then he put it down when Kyo said not to touch it and stuff because he'll kill him. <laughs> so, I would think that Kyo would guard that with his wife. He has something to do with this. Gold and shiny, could it be? Is that all right? Maki, may I see it for a minute? I want to try moving the sliding so lock. You want to unlock it? Go ahead, do what you want. I carefully touched the knob of the lock, avoiding the gold parts, and softly slid the lock open. Okay. Huh. Just as I suspected, this lock will slide without much effort. Huh. Hmm. Whether you lock it or unlock it, this could be an important clue. Hmm. I'm looking at Kyo, because he don't want to use that damn sword, or would know about it. Hmm. I'm curious about this rear door, too, but there's something else that bothers me. The lock on the front door that we use to enter this room. Shouldn't we investigate the front door too? I'm gonna to take a closer look at it. Maki walked over to the front door. Huh. So, what's up, what's up with the front door? What's up, Maki? Hey. I just wanna confirm something. When we got to this lab, you're sure that the front door was locked? Okay. Yes, I'm positive. Hmm. Cause we try, I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it, and then it was locked. It really is locked. I knew it. The front entrance is locked until Kokichi picked the lock to open it. Huh. Yep, he picked it with the lock and then he was like, it'll open it and we got in. Hmm. So he picked the cylinder lock open. Hey. Do you think anyone else could have opened the lock That's besides true. him? It would have been impossible for me outside the monocula Monica took the key and they swallowed it. <laughs> okay, here it is, but there's only one key, so don't lose it. It'd be bad if you lost it, you wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. And then Monadam went ahead and said, let me see that key. <laughs> Monadam swiped the key and then he swallowed it in the ate it. Yep. Then? So Kokichi is the only one who could have opened or closed the door from the outside, mm. right? Correct. Only Kokichi would have been able to open and close the door from outside. But someone inside could have opened and closed it as they huh? So the front door was locked from inside the room. No. Not necessarily. I'm just thinking of possibilities. But in that case, the question becomes how the person who locked the doors got out. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the doors. Is there like a secret compartment in this room or something? I don't know. Because that's also something we can look into. Huh. Hmm. Still, it's strange that the front door and back door have different locks. The front door that we came in from has a cylinder lock. And the rear door over there has a sliding lock. But by the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. This? In other words, this is what you might call the locked room mystery, right? Just like in other games, in previous games, just like in the first game, Trigger Happy Havoc, when it was a locked door mystery, then it became a suicide. So that's a possibility too. So I'm looking at, I'm looking at suicide, Kokichi, and Kyo. Those, those are the main three things that I'm suspecting right now. You're right. Yes, the cylinder lock's key was taken by the Monica, so both doors could only be locked from the inside, mm. but only if you rule out Kokichi's lock picking, right? He could have picked the cylinder lock on the front door to go in and out of the lab. So he could have treated this locked room mystery. Created, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's possible that he locked the door from the outside by picking it after he killed it. I remember correctly. That's, That's true. Right. Also, he appeared in an oddly convenient time when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. I knew it. He's clearly suspicious. It is suspicious, but that solution seems a little too convenient. See, now, I was thinking the same thing. Like, maybe 
he's the one that could get in from the outside because he's able to lock pick stuff, so he could relock it. But the thing about that is that I think that that would be too easy as far as Zangamon, but I feel like that would be too easy. I don't know. Huh. So, let's look at her body. Angie's body, she's lying face down in the middle of the room. What's wrong? Are you going to take a closer uh, look? Okay. Yes, I was that planning to. Then let's hurry up and do it. We can't afford to waste any time here. Maki didn't hesitate. She stepped past me and walked over to the body. She has no problem with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. I mean, she's used to seeing this. So come on. She's like, come on now. Let's get to it. <laughs> All right. Let's look at this. There's blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound to the back of the neck, as well as a laceration on her forehead. I knew it. The killing blow was a single stab in the back of the neck. A sneak attack was well. likely. Then what do you make of this wound on her forehead? <sighs> Maybe the culprit hit her in the head before stabbing her from behind. But, but her two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapons? Oh, attack? yeah. I suppose that would be unnecessary. Remember. Also, the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. What is going on with these two wounds? Huh. huh? It looks deep, but not enough. I'm trying to figure it out, y'all. Huh? What's wrong, Maki? Got a minute? No. Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Angie's body up by the shoulder. Is this? What's this doing crumbling underneath her body? What is it? Oh, this is duct tape, right? What's duct tape doing here? I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Look, there are hairs stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Angie's, right? It looks like white hairs. Bloody duct tape with Angie's hair on it. What? Could that mean? Hmm. I'm surprised you spotted this, Maki. It was hidden under so her body. Right. It was partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed it before I did. Okay. Uh, well, that's true. <laughs> well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't beat yourself up okay. over it. Well, then, it's a good thing you're used to corpses, Maki. You want to die? Huh? You want to die? Sorry. Sorry, joking. I'm going to resist. You don't need to apologize. I was joking, too. That didn't sound like a joke, though. <laughs> you're like, you could actually kill my ass. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Let's look at the Necronomicon. Ah, this book. The instructions of the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one as a deceased victim. Hmm. I knew it. This was the motive, the Necronomicon. Hey. That is so hard to say sometimes. Like, I gotta slow down and, like, take my time to say that word. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Angie tried to perform the ritual written in this book, okay. right? Yes, if we look at this book, we should learn the steps of the ritual she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, what the hell? The Necronomicon Resurrection Ritual. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. The size and shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Then close your eyes and wait after a while. You should feel a light tap on your back. If so, that means the ritual was a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. So these are the steps for the resurrection this ritual. Is stupid. And you really believed in this crap? It's pretty obvious that you wouldn't be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can rule anything out. Hmm. So it's only been performed once. Okay, let's look at her body. Because that's what I was trying to click the first time. The four effigies hung upside down, making the scene particularly eerie. Hmm. Ropes are dangling from the exposed beams on the ceiling. Huh. If I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, Angie made all of these wax hey. figures. Is this rope from the You're warehouse? Right. I believe so. Then that means that won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and gotten these ropes. Maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. True, because nobody was going to go back in that damn manhole and try to get out again. That that whole manhole adventure is just a big troll, okay? I'm not, there's no way. I'm pretty sure people can get out of it, but I'm not going to get out of it. I'm not. Um, anyway, I know that these effigies are just wax, but it still creeps me out. I mean, they look That's realistic. True. Look at them. The effigies look exactly like real people. Not just their faces, but their bodies, too. The ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. By the way, why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of the ritual? Hmm. I'm not sure, what but why it? does she have a sword going through it? <laughs> if that's not, then why is it like this? Who would go out of their way to hang a wax effigy? 
I mean, right. If they're going to do this much work, there must be some reason before it. What could it be? Who would do this? The culprit? Angie? Or someone else entirely? Hmm. I don't know. I would think that Angie would do it. Because she's used to rituals and stuff. Like, I would think that she would be the only one, you know, doing that. Now, um, let's look at this katana. Because I know that that comes from Kyo's room. A katana stabbed into Kaede's wax effigy. Who did this and why? Me? Let me see. Hmm. Maki nudged me aside, then gripped the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Hmm. Ah, wait. This is a crime scene. You what can't. You wanted to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do that if you don't pull because. it out. Yes, true. But we have to preserve the scene. Hmm. Maki paid no mind to my protest and stared at the katana for a while. Is this? It's a real katana, but there's a gold leaf on it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I believe it's the one that was on display in the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. Mm. Hmm. Is that so? Okay. Oh, and there's blood on the tip. Hmm. We can probably assume that this is the murder weapon, judging from the blood stains on the tip. The edge is too rusty to cut well, but it would be enough to set. But, but why would they go through in that effort of using this as a murder that's weapon? True. Good question. They could have gone to my lab and grabbed a more suitable weapon. Could it be? Perhaps it's because Keo's lab is on the same floor. They just grabbed something close by. They may have been in a uh, hurry, or maybe they needed a long weapon like huh? this. A long okay. weapon. My lab doesn't contain swords or any other weapons of this kind. Huh? Really? That's true. Not sure how Monokuma found out, but he must know I don't use swords for work. <sighs> when I first started working, I botched a mission using the katana. I haven't used a sword since, which is fine because they are hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited to them personally, just like Angie's was. But how did they know all this? <sighs> hmm. Anyway, the gold leaf on the katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hand uh, now. Okay. It must be pretty old for the gold leaf to flake off that easily. Why didn't you say it so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I have to wash them later. She's like, well, I would, if I would have known this, now it wouldn't be dirty. Like, come on. <laughs> Maki scolded me, then stood in front of Kaede yeah. Effigy. I'm going to put the katana back where we found it. If it's too hard to watch, please look away. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Right, she's like, look, I'm used to stabbing bodies. Go ahead and turn away. I know this is your friend, all right? I averted my gaze, and Maki stabbed the katana back into the wax effigy. By the way. Even so, why was a weapon stabbed into the wax effigy? A hanging wax effigy, no less. Was it part of the ritual, or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? Hmm. Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't even wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide the murder weapon. What are you this. talking then about? Then what's the reason That's... for this? I honestly have no idea. Hmm. Well... We should investigate where this weapon came from. We might find okay. a clue there. The ultimate anthropologist lab. Yes, let's do that. I want to make sure the katana and bead came from that room. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, y'all, because there's gold on the lock, right? And then there's blood on the tip of this. Now, if Angie was to be stabbed by this thing, wouldn't her body be right here and not there? Why is it in the middle of the room? You know? I don't know. Why? A murder at nighttime is strange, impossible even. Why? Why do you think that? Right. Because student council made rule that we know can be outside during nighttime. Everyone should have been asleep. No way murder could have happened at nighttime. Ew. Do you really think everyone would go along with that rule? But it is a tool's rule. Angie say he punish us if we not follow his rules. But but the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They could do what they wanted. Angie was also here and working at night. <gasps> huh? She was? But no way. Student council would never break all night. They should have been asleep in own rooms. Set good example to others. But see, that's the thing with being like a cult leader. They do whatever they want. They do whatever they want, folks. Y'all supposed to follow what the cult leader says, okay? The cult leader do whatever the hell they want to do, all right? <sighs> Maybe Angie got attacked while she's sleeping in her room and got brought Gonta, here. If so, idiot. Gonta could have saved her. If only Gonta saw. But Gonta was sleeping. Sorry, Angie. Gonta no could save you. It's not your fault, Gonta. It's not. But, but, but you are part of the student council, so I don't know. You could be a culprit, too. If I if find it hard to believe that no one went outside in spite of the student council rule. Hmm. Let's see, let's talk to you. You have a cult member, what's up? Um, I'm not sure if it's okay to say this or not, but could Tenko be the culprit? Oh, why? Huh? huh? Tenko. Oh, it's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Himiko say that Tenko was trying to betray the student council. No. 
So you should spend 10 minutes. Actually. Because as a member of the student council, she would have been allowed into the flat. Oh, yeah. That's right. Angie did allow members of the student council to enter her oh. lab. Yeah, Angie had been shut away here, working on the ritual by herself since yesterday. She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's voice. That's true. That would certainly point to Tenko. She did portray the two student council after all. No. It's not that I want to suspect Tenko, but since only student council members would have been let in here, so Angie only let in student council members. That would be Gonta, Kibo, Kibigo, Tenko, and Sumigi. Of that group, Tenko is certainly the most suspicious. I don't think that she is, though. I don't think she is. She wanted to get Himiko out because she knows that this is like a cultish thing. And she wanted Himiko to get out of this, this trance that Angie had over everybody. That's it. I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to you, Miri. <laughs> this busty, brainy beauty has all this figured out. Huh? huh? You mean, you know who the culprit What was that? Huh? The culprit? Fuck that. Hey. Uh, Shuichi, do we really have the time to be listening to her? Wait. Hey, wait. Wait, goddammit. Are you just gonna ignore my genius idea? Just listen Why? to me, okay? Come on, listen to me, listen. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, if you're gonna twist my arm, then I'll tell ya. You better thank me for this. You know. Like, I didn't wanna know, all right? I know y'all are dumber than please, but even you get how weird these wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they for the ritual or another person? Well then. But I figured it out with just one glance. These are divergent. Listen up. Yep, the culprit used these wax dolls to distract us from something. Got a minute? Huh, what do you mean by that? How should I know? Isn't that Sherlock Holmes' job? <laughs> I knew it. Oh, you're a waste of time. Oh my goodness. Maki turned away and walked away. I can't say I what blame her. What was that? Her. Huh? The hell's her problem? She's on a rag or something? <laughs> so Angie made these black dolls, huh? The resemblance is pretty uncanny. They say the devil's in the details, you know? Let's just see how detailed these really oh. are. Hey! Miu tried to look up wax figure hey. shirt. What are you doing? Stop hey. Oh. What? Yeah. I just want to see if the doll is wearing panties. Uh -huh. Wait, do you have a doll fetish? Are you excited that your dead girlfriend is a doll now? Yeah, if you virgin. like wax dolls so much, then go fuck the doll already. My God, Mew. I'm starting to agree with Maki. Talking to Mew is a waste of time. <laughs> He's just getting insulted. <laughs> a small pool of blood has emanated from Angie's torso. This can't be from her forehead. This blood is from the back of her neck. This? this blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Angie was killed. Maybe, maybe more. Hmm. Huh. This fits the 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monaco file. Hmm. hmm. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monaco file. Hmm. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Uh, um, Maki so was wrong. wrong. It's not that important, but the only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. <laughs> Good God, Maki, Jesus, I'm just useless any other time? Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Like I'd know. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito, at least. That guy is useless. Anyway, let's continue. All right, so I think we finished investigating everything for now. Got a minute? Is this really the time to rest? I don't think we found enough clues yet. We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to you're right. Oh, you're right. First, we should investigate the ultimate anthropologist's lab. We may find a clue related That's to the Katana. That's true. We need to check if the Katana really did come from that place. Hmm. Is something wrong, By Maki? Way. It just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? <laughs> She's like, why am I working with you? Huh? Why am I here? Why am I investigating? <laughs> sure, whatever. Well, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. It's not as if I asked you, but it's fine by me. It's true that Maki is a tremendous help to me. Well, I think that Maki's starting to like me a little more. I think that she's tolerating being around people in general more. Like she's starting to open up. And I like that. I like that for her, because I like Maki. If I remember correctly, the gold leaf katana is from there. And it looks like it's missing. It's just the sheath. Earlier, the katana was inside okay. the sheath. Maki, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here. I'm sorry. That's true. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? This is his research lab, after all. It certainly does, because he would guard this with his life, I'm thinking. I don't know. Oh, you know what, guys? I just realized the mask that, um, what was it? The Oh my god, the mask that was used in the second game is right there. I see it right behind the katana. That is so cool how they have stuff from the other games in here. I just realized that. No. Not necessarily. Anyone could have come in here. That's taken. true. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same with my lab, too. I guess so. But it's, I don't know. The blood on the tip is what's getting me thinking. Oh, oh what are you guys doing? Ew. 
what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping me see on? You look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess that is your signature look. Anyway. Anyway, I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, so I came back to get it. Something for the seance. Yeah. Yep, that white sheet over there. What white sheet? Oh, oh. Hmm. We brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that sheet too. Hmm. What is it? I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? <laughs> hey, don't ask me. I don't know why we need that stuff either. So that means... That's why I figured I'd do a little research on the seance before I got the huh? study. Um... So, let's see. Kokichi took a look around hmm. and I heard it was like some old handmade book. Oh, this is it. Yeah. Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here in the cover, so this must be it. Hmm. Let's see, what does it say about the Cage Dog, Cage Child Seance? Kokichi flipped through the old book to hmm? up. Oh, is it this page? It's hard to read, but I can't see the Cage Child is mentioned here. Huh. Let's see. Yeah. Kiyo's drawing the same magic circle as the one in this picture. Um, okay, let's see. In order to perform the cage child, you need five people, including the spirit medium and a dark place with no I light. Remember Just like Kiyo said. First, draw the magic circle, passed down from the cage dog village on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle, and rest their forehead on a stone of the ground. Afterward, the other four participants must put the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. And finally, the, the dog god must be placed on top of the cage. Also, it says we can't step on a magic circle during the preparation. Uh, um, the dog god? Do you mean the wooden dog yeah. statue? When preparations are complete, turn out all the lights to create complete darkness. The sounds will begin when the four participants are each standing at the corner of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the cage child song. After the song acts, is the cage child, then say the name of the spirit. Spirit medium will reply in the voice of some spirit, and that's all it says. That's a lot of steps. I'm not gonna lie, that was a lot in that book. <sighs> that sounds complicated. Right, Maki, I'm like, that is a lot of steps, okay? But. Complicated plans have a better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Whether it works or not, Kyo has been wanting to conduct this kind of seance for a while. Hmm. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of these copies, I have already memorized it. But I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on a real one, but it took a fate. Right. Oh yeah, he said he memorized every word of it too. That's probably why he left the book here, because he can conduct the sounds without but. it. But is it even possible contacting Angie Joe? <laughs> if you're so curious, why don't you join huh? us, Suichi? Hmm? Well, you, know. you should see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? There's still time, you know. The sounds haven't even started. That's true. Yet. Maybe it's better if you join huh? them. You think I so? I don't understand. Well, I'm not going. I don't believe the sounds. <sighs> but whatever you believe it or not, as a detective, you should be there to observe what happens. As a detective, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> now you're talking. All right. Well, I'll be waiting for you. Of the three empty rooms, we're in the middle one. Hmm. Maybe I should check out the other rooms, too. Maybe. Just to see what's in there. Kokichi spoke as though he was inviting me to go play the left and left. The cage child has been added. Okay. Hmm. Let's talk to Maki. What's up, Maki? Hey. You can deal with the seance. I'll head back to the crime scene and re-examine the clues. Okay. So you're going to do your own thing. All right, um, let's look at this. The Cage Child book is still here. Kyo said that he has read it so many times he can recite it by memory. I suppose he doesn't need it to perform the seance. Hmm. Let's see, is there anything else suspicious here? Oh, maybe up here, bookshelf? It's packed with books and scrolls. They're all weathered and old. No time to read now, though. Okay, so nothing, nothing there. So let's go to the creepy room now. Maybe the ghost of the Monica's might be in there. Oh, oh, they really did draw it. Hello. So Kokichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shuichi. You are most welcome to join us, oh. is what I would like to say. However, only five, including the spiritual medium, may join. Oh, hmm. man. man, what a shame. Well, Keyboy, you're out. Why me? Hmm. I agree with Kokichi. I was thinking this for a while. <laughs> Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help was appreciated, Kibo. Why oh, you? Aww. Don't end if you feel guilty for kicking me out after forcing me to come. That's why we're apologizing. Do not mock no me. Don't apologize yet. Oh, fine, fine, our bad. Just don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. How rude. Why would I do that? Stop it. Stop whining, Kibo. I want to start the seance as soon as possible. <laughs> fine, but I won't forget this betrayal, Shuichi. Why is it me? I didn't do anything. You know what? Everybody else is treating him so bad. Everybody's treating him so bad because he's not a real boy. Okay? They need. They need. Everybody needs to get off of Kibo. Okay? Y'all, y'all forced this man to come over here, all right? 
He didn't want to be a part of this. Jesus. So now Shuichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Do you understand? Do not enter the magic circle that I've drawn on the floor. It is drawn with purifying salt, so it is easily disturbed when... Step um. One. You drew this magic circle with salt? That's correct. I always use salt for magic circles. So I'll, it makes seances more likely to succeed. Well then. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, oh, but it may also unleash a curse. Okay. Got it, but I'll be careful. I'm surprised you were able to draw this without even looking at the picture. Do not work. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle should be perfect. Of course, I also had the cage child song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? Um, I have copied the words to the song down here. Please commit it to memory. Um, it says, at last, at last, at long last, young guard dog and little lost girl, sealed within an iron cage or mountain's bottom within the darkness. At last, at last, at long last, how many will there be by down? Gone. Will there be two or just one? Would a guard dog run? Far away, or did it get the little girl? At last, at last, at long last. Hey, that was all off beat, but it's okay. It was all off beat, but it's okay. All right. <laughs> Everyone else has already memorized it. After all, you'll be unable to read in the dark. Huh? We have to memorize the lyrics oh. now? You're a detective, so I expect your memory to be up to the task. Here's the melody. Oh, you gonna sing it for us? I listened to Keo sing the song and did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. I wish that we could hear it. Come on. Oh, we not gonna hear it. Oh my God. Okay. All right, I think I got it now. Your memory is extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Well then, let us begin the ritual How right exciting. away. How exciting. Yay, we finally get to see so Andy. Then. Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with the girl. Mm. Then I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. No. No, I'll do it. Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk mm -hmm. to Angie. Huh? That's right. You want to talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way, you can say goodbye to her. Oh, Tenko, you are so nice. Oh, my goodness. You are such a... She's so nice. She's so nice, and she really, really loves Himiko. She really loves that girl. And after you finish saying your goodbyes, Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone Please. else. Please. Tenko. By Aww. the way. Also, Himiko, let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do. Well, I mean, laughing makes you feel Damn better too. It. And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Yes. Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. Aww. I think you've trained too much. <laughs> You're probably right. Aw, Tenko. Tenko's so sweet. It seems the two of them made up. That's good. So hmm. then. So now that we've decided on the spiritual medium, let us yes. begin. All right, Himiko. I'll see you later. All right. Let's see. All right. Now, I would like the spirit medium, Tenko, to sit within the center circle. Hmm. Please be sure to walk on the path so as not to disturb the magic circle. All right. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch your steps since it's so dark in here. Okay. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. <laughs> I'm not the same turtle. <laughs> Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. It's hmm. just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? It might. Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Hmm. Um, like this? Aww. This may be uncomfortable. But please endure it until the seance is complete. Whatever you do, this is getting me creepy you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Are you sure? Cake. I have five star flexibility. I bet you do. <laughs> All right. So then. Starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things left Let's to be done. See. First, we must place this iron cage atop Tenko. We shall leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. And please keep in mind, walk carefully so as to not disturb the magic yeah. circle. Okay, you can count on me. I may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong. Please, whatever. Just do it. I shouldn't have lied. Oh, oh. Am I too weak for this kind of stuff? Oh, yeah. Manual labor is too much for you, huh? Okay. It's made of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Hold hmm. on! Don't just drop it on top of me! <laughs> I know. She's it like, wouldn't be, be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. Please don't jinx us! Right! <sighs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? I shall okay. take that role. All right. Everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? I'm very concerned for her because we can't see her well, anymore. Well, 
I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. The four of us may need to do this together. The statue is quite heavy. Okay. Even with four people, it's still really heavy. Mm -hmm. oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton! Look, no, get, get stronger. it's okay, not much is more than 175 pounds. Oh, I'm totally wiped. You know what, the fact that... <laughs> The fact that that is 175 and I'm like 160 <laughs> makes me feel like I'm big as shit. <laughs> but I know I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, though. Like, come on. I could have used my magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. Hmm. Are you sure it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? The iron cage was made specifically hmm. for seances. So it can hold this weight. Look, Tanko's just trying to make sure that that thing doesn't fall on her. And I, I'm with it. Like, I'm not trying to die. I don't okay. need to I guess that's fine then. Now, okay. Let us exit the magic circle. Hmm. Take care to avoid disturbing it. Okay. I'm really nervous for Tanko. <laughs> so then. This is the point of no return, Tanko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Oh. Got it. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. Well, then. Ooh, the rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your choosing. Hmm. All right. Go to your corners, people. All right. We each stood at a different corner. Hmm. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi hmm. are closest to the candles. Please okay. blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. Oh, so man. go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> it's like, so we gotta move after we can't see. Understood? <laughs> like, that makes a lot of sense. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Yeah, got it. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, uh -huh. I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Correct. Okay, I was I about brought to say matches what? from the warehouse, okay. so please use those. Thank you. I was about to say, what are we gonna use? Himiko's magic? Like, <laughs> like I didn't know what we we're gonna do. <laughs> Okie dokie. Then I'll blow out the candle now. Hmm. Okay. All right. I walk up to the closest candle and blow out the flame. All right. The room instantly fell into complete darkness, pitch black darkness. So dark, I couldn't even see my own body. Overcoming my instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the wall back to my corner, then began the singing. Hmm, can we hear it now? At last, at last, at long last. Hey. Keo led us all in the kid... <laughs> Q led us all in the cage child song. Young guard, dog, and little lost girl, sealed within an iron cage. Hey! At mountains Come on, now on time. within the darkness. Hey! At last, at last, at long last. Yes! Come on now. There we go. There be by dawn. Fell off pitch. Will there be two or just one? Somebody can't sing. Oh, oh. Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it eat the little girl? Yeah, I'm concerned because there was a long, there was a, uh, <laughs> there was a large crash, and I don't know what that was. At last, at last, at long last. Oh my God. Okay. Uh oh. We finished singing the song, but I thought I heard an odd sound in the middle of it. What was Say. that? The cage child, Angie Yanaga. He began calling. Now if the medium answers, Say. is the cage child, Angie Yanaga. What's going Say. on? 
is the king's child, Angie Yanaga. What's the matter? What's wrong? Why won't Angie answer? Hold on. Himiko, I was very clear that you were not to speak, mm. yes? But something's weird. Why won't she answer? Um, Maybe it failed? Let's see. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? What? Is that okay? Yeah. Just for now. Confused, I walked along the wall back to the candle. I managed to strike a match and light the candle once again. Okay. So what's going on? No! No, 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 no. I saw, I saw a little speckle of pink. I saw a little sprinkle of pink underneath that. Tenko is dead underneath that. Tenko's dead underneath that thing. I saw a little, a little thing of pink under there. That's blood. She is dead underneath there. Hey, what's going on? Did it really fail? That cannot be. That shouldn't be the case. The sound is perfect. Right. Is Angie not coming? Is that still Tenko in there? Hmm. I Tenko? See. Yes. I, I told her that she mustn't speak until the spirit <laughs> answers her. She follows orders well, but how about we let her out for now? Hold on. Wait, dark arts such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may stay in a medium spot. Man. Seeing as how this was a failure, I don't think any spirit is sticking around, but whatever. Um, she's dead underneath there. She gotta be. Or hurt. Just like setting up, Kyo instructed us how to clean up everything. We carefully, we are careful to remove everything exactly in order now, Kyo directed. I will remove the sheet. Uh-oh. Kyo pinched the fabric gently and pulled it aside. Oh? oh? Tenko! Tenko, are you okay? Perhaps. Something is amiss. Jack. Oh my god! Tenko, are you alive? Himiko ran toward the cage at a sprint. <laughs> Himiko, I told you not to step on this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But she wasn't listening. She jumped onto the cage and... Uh-oh. Tenko! Oh no. Fueled by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage, lifted it up and... Oh no. No! No! No, 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 no! God, y'all, we have two deaths now. We have two deaths in this chapter. We already investigated one. Now we gotta investigate another one? Jesus Lord. Really? Who would have thought there'd be another victim during the investigation? Maybe Monofini's green puke was predicting this tragedy. <laughs> ah. Oh, the puke's color is normal now. I guess it was For predicting now. this. Everyone, please assemble in the seance room. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now we gotta investigate two deaths. Tenko don't deserve this man, God. The second body discovery announcement played. It didn't take long for everyone to come running. Oh man. Uh, what? Tenko, seriously? <laughs> what is this? How did this How happen? Did this happen? Tenko, go to so sorry. Go to Noka protect you. Got a minute? Shuichi, explain the situation. I thought you were conducting a seance. What happened? No, that's... I don't know what's happening. Oh, so, oh my god. Somebody killed her What on earth? I'm surprised too. I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation. Um, um I guess for now, you should maybe start the investigation right away. Say. Before that, I would like to confirm something. The culprit who killed Angie may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko, yes? Huh? huh? If so. What happens in the event there are two murders by two people? What if there are two black men? Do we need to find them both at the class trial? That's right. Now that you mention it, that's a good point. What would happen in that yeah. scenario? Huh? What would happen? Monodam, what would happen? Um, what What would happen? Not that. <laughs> Why do you look lost too, Monodam? I thought you were going to run things instead of daddy. I never expected something like this to happen. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Really, I don't know. <laughs> oh man, they're all disorganized. If you can't decide the class trial's objective, then we won't know what to Father. investigate. Father always knows what to do. We should ask him for help. Have you already forgotten? Daddy's in no condition to help us. Um, oh, oh. Oh, okay, he's not saying anything. It's all our fault that Daddy ended up like that. Huh? It's all your fault, Mama? Daddy, Daddy help. We don't know what to do on our own. We gotta use the power of love. That ought to snap him back to normal. That won't work. Father is just an empty shout out. That's right. That's not true. Anything is possible with the power of love. You don't understand that because you've never been loved before, Modern Am. Daddy. Daddy, I love you. So please go back to Father. Mother. I want to see you, Father. I love you with my heart. Hmm. Yeah. Are you making me blush? Oh, now he's talking. Now, now the damn bear talks. Okay. Lord, now he's back to. Oh, is that a dummy? Here I am. Was that a dummy the whole time? 
Okay, whatever. I'm back. Were you good while I was away? Oh Lord, Thank they can go back so to much, licking them down. My adorable darling Did y'all just see him lick his own body? Like his own lumpy body? With you running the academy, I was able to fully enjoy my relaxing vacation. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's important to take time off to laugh. Normally, most companies won't even let you take time off if you're on vacation. But I was able to do it. The secret is to just leave, whether you get permission or not. Yo, I completely feel this because when I used to work in like retail and food and all that stuff, I would request vacation. Even though I was there all the time, never was late and everything. And they would have an attitude just because I wanted like two days off. But I believe anyway. Like you're not gonna tell me I can't do that. Cause I can use these days. Y'all shouldn't work me like a fucking slave. I don't think so. Huh? Wait, so then who's this baldy then? Yeah. Oh, that's just a part-timer I got to cover for me while I was gone. Hey! What, here's your pay like we agreed on. Now take it and get out of here. Huh? I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. So, so that thing is just a, uh, he's just a stand-in. Now that that nuisance is out of the way, what were you guys talking about again? Ah, that's right. What happens to your vote if there are two black new candidates? I don't answer Well, that. I have an answer for that. It's first come, first serve. Huh? First come, first serve. Hey. The black who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. In other words. In other words, words if the black who killed Angie is the same one who killed Tenko, then only Angie's killer will be considered the black -in. So we still gonna have the other killer just roaming around here? Basically, Tenko's killer wasted a kill, and Tenko herself is a wasted victim. Now then. Oh, I'll add this to the school regulations so that you can review it later. Ahead. I also updated the Monokuma file. Do your best to investigate this murder, too. Oh, man. Father. So now we gotta do two things. All right. Boy, everything is going so smoothly now that Father's running things again. Leaders gotta be able to take decisive action. Indecision is just the yes. worst. Daddy, you're glowing. You're glowing like a lamb. Oh, not a damn. There's nothing better than being praised by my cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. For as long as you live, I will never let any of you go. Hmm? He just left us behind while he was saying he'd never let us go? Hello. That's why he's so amazing. Please lick me some more, Daddy. Look. So long. Y'all still well. don't know that Mama Kuma is a bad dad. Okay, he's a deadbeat. Jesus. Uh, Mama Dam don't like getting back. <laughs> Um, so to make sense of all Listen that, closely. if both murders have different culprits, then our vote would determine Angie's nope. killer. But we don't know, we don't even know if there's a different culprit, Let's do we? See. True, we should investigate Tenko's death as well, just How exciting! Finally, things are heating up. I'm getting so Piece excited. Of shit! You're fucking psycho. Uh? Shuichi! Shuichi, this is huh? bad, huh? Ugh. This is unquestionably bad. I can't believe Tenko was killed. Everyone's upset and confused, and I'm in no shape to help but right now. So this is where you need to set up, step up. Listen up. Listen, Shuichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Kaito, I love you, but you gotta do some fucking work, okay? You are not doing a damn thing to help anybody, okay? My god. Uh, okay, yeah. all right. All right, then let's check the Monokuma file first. Hmm. The victim is Tenko Chabashira, the ultimate Akito master. The body was found in the middle of the empty room on the fourth floor. The time of death is approximately 11 a.m. The only visible injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck. Is this a serial killer? Mm. What the hell? Okay, a stab wound on her neck, the same as Angie's cause mm. of death. It doesn't look like a coincidence. Maybe it's Angie's curse. Oh, curse. Geez. God, not again. Yeah. Curse. Oh my God. Oh. Hey. What? Curse! Oh my Kaito, god. Kaito, calm down. He grabbed the closest thing he could. That was Maki. <laughs> no way there's a curse! Oh Don't my screw god. around! You're the one who's screwing around. Mm -hmm. Did you want to die? Right! She's like, get off of me! <laughs> and there goes the slam. The all sound reverberated through the room. <laughs> are you okay? Kaito, are you okay? My bad. My bad, Shuichi. I'm starting to feel bad, but for a different reason. I'm gonna get some fresh air, so I'll leave this to you and Maki roll. <laughs> Kaito left the room, still a bit wobbly. Um. Um, should we resume the investigation? Time is of the that's essence. That's correct. True, we haven't time to mourn Tenko's death as our own very lives are at this stake. Is 
That's true, but Angie and then Tenko. <laughs> and to think earlier I was suspicious of Tenko. I'm sorry, Tenko. How can this be? All, it's all Gonta's fault. Fail, Gonta failed to protect friends again. Hmm, Himiko. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone is panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder because I'm a detective. This is just wild. Like, we have to investigate another death? Well. Like, Jesus. It's too dark in here. We can't investigate even too Got it. Too. I'm going to bring candles from another room to make this room bright, no. okay? No, that won't be necessary. Uh, yeah, that's not necessary at all. Huh? huh? Why? Listen up. Show them, Kiyabo. Show them your new power. Huh? New power? New power? Oh, did she upgrade it? Up. Oh. I knew Iruma, the gorgeous girl genius, right. have installed a new function in Kibo. Okay, so that's what she was doing when she was on top of his body inspecting him and everything. She was gonna upgrade him. Okay. Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. Oh my Whoa. god. <laughs> <laughs> shine on, shine on! Shine on, you crazy fucking diamond! Oh my goodness. Mew is so funny. <laughs> Man, what a lame function. You should have made him like a transformer okay. or something. But but it's bright now, so we should hurry and investigate. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Kibo's flashlight function has been added to the truth bullet section on your monopad. Okay. Hmm. All right, so I'm getting very, I have a theory, but I'm gonna investigate more before I say it. I'm gonna investigate more. Let's talk to Himiko. Hey! Himiko, be strong, Himiko. Gonta, if you shake Himiko that much, she's gonna break. What? But she's not talking. It's like Himiko not even here. She must have been really shocked over Tenko. Let's leave her be for now. Okay. Hmm. Himiko, I'm so sorry, baby. All right. Let's look at you. All right. Huh. Look, see, look, there's a floorboard moving. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm hold on until we investigate it. Let's look at it. Look at it. Ah, this floorboard is loose. And it's the one right under Tenko. Why? Why is the floorboard loose? If I remember correctly. It wasn't like this before. It must have come loose during the Why? Why would it come loose during the but... A floorboard this thick and heavy wouldn't have come loose easily. Then someone must have loosened it on purpose. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, let's look at her body. I'm so sorry, Tenko. Tenko's dead body. She took her last breath crouched over like this. According to the Monokuma file, her only injury is a stab wound to her neck. It seems like whoever is the killer must have a big fascination with Attack on Titan because they are attacking people left and right at the back of the neck. They must have attacked, watched Attack on Titan. They must have. They must have. This wound was fatal. This must have caused instant death. I didn't hear a scream during the seance. Wait. You did hear a thump, though. Uh-huh. Only, would Tenko really keep her mouth shut despite the pain? Her death might not have been an instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. What do you What's mean? What's the point? You were concerned about that, right? Okay. With a wound this deep, the victim is too shocked to do anything except uh, die. Um, You're speaking from experience? That's obvious. Of course, quick deaths are my specialty. Well, then that By the way. The real question is, what was she killed with? I don't see a murder weapon around. Hmm. You're right. I don't see an obvious murder weapon. That could be a tool. Hmm. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out, y'all. Let's look at the blood. Can I look at the blood? Or no? Or... Let's look at the marker stuff, huh? There's a rock next to Tenko's body. This must be when she was doing the ritual. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know that. Tenko had her forehead on this rock hunched over. She had to make herself small to fit inside the cage. Hmm. Hmm. And then there's blood on the top of it, it looks like. This is the cage used in the seance. This? It looks like to be around three feet high and five feet wide. It's a pretty large iron okay. cage. Big enough for a person to fit inside. Hmm. Mm hmm It was Himiko who rushed in and removed the cage first. Huh. Hey. Hey, look at this. Is this? A blood stain at the bottom of the cage. Probably Tenko's blood, yeah? That's true. I, I imagine so. This flatter must have been made when we, she was what killed. What do you mean? Which means Tenko was killed while she was inside the okay. cage. Okay. I think you're right. Tinko went under the cage before the seance. Hmm. But then when the cage was lifted after the seance, she was already dead. Huh. Then? If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, that would explain the blood huh? stain, right? Huh? Perhaps she wasn't killed during the seance, but the exact moment the cage was lifted. That's a possibility. Hmm. I'm thinking that whoever killed her was using 
I don't know. I don't know. There, is there a hidden compartment in Angie's room too? I don't think so. Cause then we would have found it, right? I'm really trying to think, y'all. I'm really trying to think. Cause this is a loose floorboard. So somebody could have went down into the floor, killed her, and then got back in the room because it was dark. So I wouldn't rule it out for just everybody that's outside of the room. But it could be someone that's inside of the room as well. I, I don't know why I'm looking at Keo because he told Himiko to stay where she was. And, well, I'm looking at Keo and Kokichi because Keo told Himiko to stay where she was because he knew that there was like holes in the floor. So him knowing that, he could go into that spot on the floor, tell her not to move so he wouldn't notice her himself going past her because it's dark. He can go in there, kill her ass in the bottom while he's still singing, maybe. And then come back, I don't know, I don't know. My, my theories are all over the place right now. And Kokichi could do it as well because he was one of the people that was moving. Well, he moved to the corner or supposedly moved to the corner when the lights were out. But he could have also moved to go underneath there because he is small. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And I have a theory that whoever killed her maybe really wanted Angie dead. Because Angie died the first time at the back of the neck and Tenko was like a vessel for Angie to speak through. So it's kind of like they were at aiming to kill Angie twice. Yo, this had to be the same person. This had to be the same person because, hold on, okay, this had to be the same person because if Angie died, right, and she died from the back of the neck and then they do a seance to try to speak to Angie to figure out who did it, that killer did not want Angie to speak again. So they went ahead and killed Tenko so that Tenko couldn't speak as Angie so this has to be the same killer. I don't think this is two people. This is the same killer, I think. It's the same killer, it has to be. Okay, let's look at this area back here, the hole in the corner. There's a small opening in the corner of the room. It doesn't look big enough for a person to get through. Is still, this a hole? Looks like there's a space under here too. Oh, hold on. I can see something below. It looks like something dropped down here. What? Something dropped down here? After we check everywhere else, why don't we go under the floor and see okay. for ourselves? Right, let's do it. Uh-huh, so something is underneath here. Probably the murder weapon. Maybe. Huh. Let's see, anything else over here to look at? Okay, we looked at this. We looked at the iron cage. We looked at her body. And what about over there? Okay, never mind. Okay, so let's get away from there. Um, let's look at the sheet. Hmm. It's the white sheet we use for the sound. Hmm. Is there blood underneath it? Hmm. Kia was the one who removed it. Huh. Is this? This cloth is pretty thick. It's similar to a window curtain, but it's completely opaque and on the back. Yup, there's blood. There's a blood stain right on it, right around the middle of the sheet. But, but there's no hole in the fabric, which means Tenko wasn't stabbed through this okay. cloth, which she was stabbed while underneath the cloth. Hmm. Okay, so they definitely killed her underneath the shit. All right, let's look at this. It's a wooden dog statue used in the seance. I believe it's called the Dog God. Hmm. During the seance, the wooden statue was on top of the cage. It took four of us to remove it. Huh. Hmm. This wooden statue is pretty heavy. If I heavy. remember correctly. Kia said it was about 175 pounds. That's about the weight of two what? girls. What do you know about girls? Have you ever touched a woman besides your uh, mother? Um, what? He's like, am I, am I a virgin to you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway. Is this? If this heavy thing was on top of the cage, then Tenko wouldn't have been able to get out easily. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right about that. What? That didn't sound like you were kidding earlier. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like it might be Kyo because... He knows the ins and outs of his room. He knows that that is too heavy for her to get out. So if he was to place it on top, stab her ass underneath so that she couldn't get out and she couldn't talk as Angie, that would be perfect for him, right? That cannot Why? be. Why? Why did this? Keo, I know the murder was pretty but shocking. Of course. of course I'm shocked about that as well. But why did the seance fail? We performed of all the steps flawlessly. He seems more concerned at the, uh, than that. Yes. 
all is to perform the caged child again and summon Tenko's spirit this, this time. Stupid. Cut the crap. Just tell me what happened during the seance. Both you and Shuichi were present, right? Did she get killed during the seance? See. Yes. True. It may be best to move past what happened to know why the seance failed. So. Whatever. Just hurry up. Hmm. At the time, in order to begin the seance, we had Tenko the spiritual medium. Position herself as a turtle within the magic circle so her head touched the mark of stone. Hmm. Then Shuichi and Kokichi placed the cage over Tenko. And after that, I placed the white cloth over the cage. Then all four of us placed the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. Hmm. Afterwards, we stood in the four corners of the room. Kokichi and Shuichi blew out the candle. Finally, we all sang the cage child song. The sounds should have been complete, oh. but... Ah, now that you mention it, I remember hearing a strange sound during the song. We sure did. Yep. Yep, I sang all that, and then it was a big thunk. Yep. Yep, the killer in motion. It is a mystery to me as well. I thought someone may have tripped, perhaps. That was a pretty loud sound for someone tripping. Perhaps Kyo knows. What something. do you mean? And then what yes. happened? Ah, we called out to her, but no reply came. I had Shuichi Kokichi for light, we light the candles. Hmm. And then we removed all the items from within the magic circle in the opposite order. First, all four of us removed the dog god statue. Next, I took off the white cloth, and then... Hmm. Himiko ran over to the cage, and a moment she looked at it. There was a the dead body. Hmm. Then it sounds like Tenko was definitely killed during the seance. No. But would it not be difficult in such darkness? Besides, she was inside the cage, and yes. Then when was she killed? Well, that's yes, that is I a see. problem. Yes. There is another oh. problem. And that is, why ever did the seance fail? I simply cannot figure it out. Maybe someone moved from the corner. Did someone else sneak What's in here? Point? Obviously, since the seance was clearly a sham. Oh, Maki never was one to pull her punches. Huh. Hmm. I don't know, I'm looking at Kyo. Kyo and Kokichi. Kyo and Kokichi are my two suspects. They are. And now I think that Angie's death was not a suicide. Now I think it's not a suicide. Okay. Well... Do these floorboards seem a little unstable to you? They're tough uh, to walk on. Um, the floorboards aren't nailed down. They're just lying on top of cross pieces. That's what Gonta told me. That's probably the reason they're a little unstable. Hmm. hmm the only... They've only been laid on top. That's why they're well, unstable. Well, the boards are fairly thick and sturdy. I can't imagine they come loose this? easily. But if someone wanted to remove a floorboard, they could easily do okay. so, right? Yeah, I suppose. Hmm. All right, let's look at the light. Candles hung on the walls. They're the only source of light in the room. There are no windows in this room, so without the candles, it was pitch black. But how did the culprit kill Tenko in complete darkness? Hmm. <laughs> I said things that made Tenko look suspicious, and now this. I'm sorry, Stop Tenko. It. Cry later, huh? Because. Crying won't bring Tenko back, and if we don't investigate thoroughly, we'll die too. Okay. I need to find the truth and pin down the culprit, the Tenko and all of us. Oh, you're right. Tenko would want us to figure it out so she'd have no regrets. That would be the best way to apologize. Okay, let's look at this, the circle. In the circle Kyo drew on the floor, well, at least it was. Dear. It's been completely stomped over. I suppose it's unavoidable. Well. Unavoidable. Jesus. <laughs> what? Was this drawn with salt? Yes. Whenever I perform a seance, I always use salt. What? Are you feeling all right? You sound ridiculous. 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 I have performed many successful seances. Why, I even had spirits enter my body. Right already. Shut up. I don't want to hear about your stupid delusions. Maki really doesn't beat around the bush. I kind, it's kind of refreshing, actually. But In any case, with all these footprints, I can't make out the original so what? Well, we'll find out in Kyo's lab. It should be written in the Cage Dog Village document. Hey. Isn't that right, Kyo? Oh, it seems depressed. I suppose that makes sense. Hmm. He look a little nervous right there, don't he? Hey. Maki, we finished investigating up here. Perhaps we should check on the floor. By the way. It seems pretty dark down there. What we what should we use for a light? That's true. Let's bring a candle with people's light from up here. That should okay. be fine. Then I'll go get a candle. Remove that full board so you can go down. Okay. Okay, got it. All right. Let's go down there and see what's down there. I pulled off some of the full boards near the hole and took the candle from Maki. Then we carefully made our way through the hole and under the floor. This is a lot more spacious than I thought. You can move pretty easily on all fours. Huh. Okay. Let's look around for well, clues. It looked pretty stupid if you found no clues after crawling around this uh, dusty place. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's look at this dripping blood. How about that? Can we look at that? Hmm. Blood dripping from the gaps in the floorboard. Fresh blood. This is definitely Tenko's. Hmm. Okay. Let's look at the dry blood. Huh. There's blood stain on the ground underneath the loose floorboard. But that's pretty far from where Tenko's blood is dripping down. It's under the same floorboard, just at different ends. Why is this blood here? Hey. 
Hey, the back of this floorboard has blood on it too. Ugh. Huh, you're right. There's a little bit of blood on the um, underside of this floorboard. What do you mean? Did Tenko's blood splatter when she got That's killed? That's true. I wonder. It can't really be that. Okay. I can't be sure yet. But these blood stains here are completely dry. There must be some reason these particular stains are dry. Huh. Okay, I know we're not dealing with zombies. We can't be. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Oh, oh. Sickle. There's a sickle here and there's blood all over okay. it. The blood on the sickle is fresh. This is it. It's a murder weapon. Is this? This came from my research. Huh? It did? Well... A sickle can be used to assassinate a target. It can be thrown without losing any lethality, and you can hide it under your clothes, well... too. If she was attacked with this, she, she wouldn't stand a chance. The blade is about That's six right. inches. And since Tenko was in the cage, she wouldn't have been able to defend but... herself. But even if this is our murder weapon, how did the culprit attack Tenko in the cage? The blade could fit through the gaps in the cage, but could it reach That's her neck? True. The cage is three feet high. If you were to stab into it with a six-inch blade, well, it would depend on Tenko's posture, but I don't think it's impossible. Then her posture is the hey. question. Hey, if the weapon is down here, the culprit must have thrown it That's away, true. right? Perhaps after shooting Tenko, the culprit threw the sickle on the floor in the dark. Or they could have been under the floor the entire time. Either of those is possible. Hmm. Okay, the reason why I'm thinking that is Pio again. Is that he knows about the holes in the floor, right? He knows about the holes in the floor. And he could have gotten this from her room. Put it underneath beforehand. Told Tenko to sit in that specific position so that he could kill her. Or whoever was going to go underneath there and speak as Angie in that way. Hmm. Some of the wood has corroded and is broken off so you can see into the next mm -hmm. room. This is the wall of the empty room, right? Looks like there's wood along the wall. This part is rotted mm -hmm. away. It looks like natural rot. This hole wasn't made intentionally. But I can get into the next room. That's here. true. If I remember correctly, the room next door is also empty, right? Then the culprit could have gone from room to room by moving under here instead of using no. the hallway. True, but it would make... It would have been difficult moving around on the floor. We did all right because we had a light. Without that, it'd be pitch black. That might make it impossible to move around nope. there. Then they could have used the light like we're doing yeah. right now. True. They used the light to move around under the floor. Is it possible? If they had matches, right? Maybe? I don't know. Huh. Oh. Ah, look, part of the cross piece that supports the floorboard is cut That's off. That's true. It's near the loose floorboard, and the portion missing is about the same width, too. And from what I can see of it... That's true. It had been broken off naturally. This was cut by someone. There should be saws in a warehouse, so they could have used that. The question is why. Mm. Another cross piece is supporting the floorboard, so it might not fall if this portion is Then... So what purpose does it serve? The floorboard underneath Tenko's body is loose, and the cross piece supporting it has been cut. If the culprit did all this, then why? to make sure that they didn't talk. That's what I think, to make sure they didn't talk. I think we finished investigating here, so. Is that all right? Maki, you want to head back <sighs> up? Glad you asked, I was trying to get fed up with all this dust. Yeah, I'm ready to get out too, man. Get me from underneath this floor. After Maki and I crawled out from under the floor and we put the floorboards back and returned to our investigation. By huh. the way. We've only been investigating this room. You sure that's huh? wise? What do you because. mean? If Angie and Tenko have different killers, then the black end we need to vote for right. is the culprit for the first murder. The culprit the culprit who killed Angie. That's what Mama Kuma said. So instead of investigating Tenko's death, shouldn't we be investigating uh, Angie's? Okay. Yes, of course. But, but this is bigger than the killing game. For the sake of the two who died, I need to reveal the truth of both their hmm. deaths. Well, I understand why you feel that way. But if you plan on investigating the other crime scene again, you should probably hurry. Hmm. So, let's leave. Let's look at the other room. When I came to the hallway, a scene more surprising than I could ever imagine unfolded. What? What's going on? Oh my god! Oh my god! No! It's no! Lie. Oh my god! Oh my... I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I wanna strangle him right now. Right now. Did I surprise you? We're gonna scream and cry in terror? Huh? What are you doing? Jeez. Oh. Oh, sorry. I'm just a little lightheaded from the blood loss. Yeah, this is Why? real blood. Okay, so what are you doing? I got curious about something, so I decided to search the empty room next door. Then, suddenly, 
I stepped to the floorboard. Huh? You stepped to the floorboard? So Jeez, that got me good. Because of this, I tripped and fell pretty hard. Got a minute? If you're going to lose consciousness, do it after you tell us everything. Ah. <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad. I guess there was no cross piece supporting the floorboard, so I kind of stepped through. <laughs> that, what kind of bad luck? That cross piece was gone. Does that mean? what the killing game is all about. What? Killing game fans, hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes. You don't have enough Baseball, time? Baseball, soccer, mobile games, they're all nothing compared to the killing game. The killing oh my game God. just can't be beat. Behold, students, the entrance to the trial ground. I want to investigate more. I need answers. I guess time's oh. up. Oh man, it's because of you guys. I didn't have enough time to check something. Huh? What were you trying to check? See? I wanted to research the seance again, so I brought this document with me. But unfortunately, what? Yeah. I couldn't find anything new that could be used as a clue. Keo perfectly reenacted the seance as what was written in the document. He drew his magic circle the same exact way as his picture. Not only that, he used the same exact tools too. Nothing suspicious about this whole thing. Well, I wanted to check the finer details, but I'll tell you about it later. Oh, what, at the trial? Come on now. <laughs> at the class trial, so see you there. Oh my God. Kokichi left, the blood loss is clearly affecting his footing a bit. Huh. He really made me think he was dead. Let's go too. That's true. Yeah, okay. Is Maki nervous? I see, so she even she gets nervous. Do you want to die? What are you staring at? Do you want to die? Uh, <laughs> that's just her thing now. Do you want to die? <laughs> My god. Oh dear. It would appear we all have gathered, but it seems there are less and less oh. of us. Less friends mean it much harder to solve mysteries. Don't worry. Well, don't worry. I'm sure you've gotten a little smarter by now, Gonta. Mm. Yeah, Gonta do his best to help. Mm. I'd want you to graduate from super idiot level, at least Kaito idiot level. Look. Gonta could smush you, okay? You better watch what you say, all right? You already fucked yourself up with four boards. Come on now. What? Hey, what's that are supposed to Are you okay? Mean? More importantly, are you okay, Kaito? Ah. Yeah, I'm feeling better now, but wow, Maki Roll sure does pack a I punch. It's your fault. <laughs> huh, you don't need to worry about our dwindling numbers. Only dipshits have died that so being far. Said. I know it's a tall order, but try to use your brains this time so I don't have to use mine. Booyah! These golden brain cells of mine are a gift to the entire world. It's as though every time you open your mouth, you become less likable. I like her, honestly. I kind of do. It's 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 so funny how she keeps roasting people, and then when she gets it back, she like cowers away. I think this is so hilarious. Rest in peace. Atua, please, please lend us your but power. It may be difficult for us to rely on Atua, considering what happened to Angie, whom Atua loved most well, of all. You know. She shouldn't have relied on Atua in the first place. But seriously, it's kind of funny seeing a robot believe in God, especially Atua. I also. So what? Robots can believe in God. Indeed. Actually, before I even met Angie, I had a similar experience hearing voices <laughs> you might call it an inner voice it tells me to do whenever what to do whenever i'm Got in a minute. how long are you going to say that for it two and ghosts don't matter right now Jeez. yeah the trial this time is going to be rough we got caught in monokuma's huh? trap it's that's trap. right he probably made the fourth floor so scary on purpose to prevent me from investing. right already no we yeah. didn't yeah there's no way oh <laughs> Wait, so... yeah you're just a coward should we just say huh? something what should i say you're you're just a coward you're just a coward all right let's, let's go y'all Oh man, I don't know who did it, really. I'm looking at Keo, but I'm looking at Kokichi as well. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know y'all, I don't know. It might, it might be Kokichi, or not. I don't know, I don't know y'all, I don't know. As usual, we walk towards the elevator in silence. As soon as we remaining survivors step aboard, it closed. Perhaps because there were fewer of us, the elevator seemed to move faster. And so we fell faster and faster downward into black. The elevator stopped, and just like always, the doors parted slowly. The light that shines on us from the other side, the bright light of our future. Or is it? Oh boy, they look really depressed. Must be because there's even less participants now. Don't say they look depressed. You'll make Mama damn sad. Oh, <laughs> as much as I'd love to keep hearing this adorable back and forth. Now then, let's hurry up and get this started. Extreme. At last, the class trial will begin. I hope you enjoy it to your heart's content. I won't. Because I need more information. Angie Yanaga, the ultimate artist, she created the ultimate academy student council to try to prevent the killing game. Oh, Tenko. Tenko. The 
then Tenko Chabashira, the ultimate keto master. She hated men, but I knew that she hated this terrible killing game even more. The two who were killed were both trying to stop the killing. Mm. And who was the one who killed them? Was it one person? I think it was. Two different people? I don't think so. I think it was one. We need to pin that down in this class trial. In order to live, we have to find the truth, and I will fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. There we go, Shulok Sweetie. There we go. Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm gonna be much help this time. Why? Because oh, you were barely there. Disruptions. I couldn't do a thorough investigation. Mm-hmm. I can you tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. Oh, this time, spend less time fixing your hair and more time investigating, spaceman. I mean, he could have done more. He kind of, he kind of was like a wuss this chapter. I'm not gonna lie. Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. <laughs> we did it. Oh, uh oh. We killed Angie and Tenko. Her two, oh yeah, because those two people were close to her. She had her cult leader and then she had her best friend, so I understand. Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. Mm -hmm. There may be two killers. I don't think so, and I think it's you. I think it's your ass. I don't know. So, Either you or Kikichi is one of you. Might not be one of us here. Hmm. Hmm? What do you mean? Why is she a talking like that? Transfer student. Okay, I don't think it's Maybe that. Maybe a resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. I don't think it's that. Stop but... it! Stop making stuff up! <laughs> Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. Hmm. Is it even possible for a Revive Corpse to be the culprit? Well, in the interest of being thorough, I should clear things up here. Okay, all right, here we go. Here we go. All right, we got, we got. Monokuma filed three, four head injury, effigies hung this upside down. This crime was committed oh. by the recently deceased. Well, it's probably the effigies hung upside down. They came back down. to life and killed two of our classmates. No. 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 Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, okay? So, it's not that. ritual did work? Hmm. Who was resurrected, I wonder? Angie did say she was going to bring Rantaro back. Hmm. Yes. Rentaro was resurrected. I don't think so, the baby. The culprit is so. the late Rentaro Amami. No, no. Please, stop it. No, okay. All right, all right. Um, This isn't about believing in reviving the dead. I have to focus on their statements. Were all those statements correct? This huh. crime was committed. Okay, let's get forward. Okay, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's... Well, it's obviously not that. Okay, chill out. Did work. Oh, 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 oh wait. Ooh, ah, shit. Was oh, damn it, damn it. Now I gotta go back again. Now I gotta go back again. Lord. It's so many. It's just so many. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Okay. All right, it's not that. Not that. All right, chill out. Chill out. Oh, okay. Let's get that out. Get that out. Bam, hit that. There we go. Hey. <laughs> I love when I hit the uh, the little V point. <laughs> I don't think Angie's ritual succeeded. Right. According to the Necronomicon Monokuma showed us, hmm. you have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. Mm -hmm. And it was still there on the floor. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Hmm. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. Very so good, she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Mm -hmm. Then, going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. Of course uh, not. I guess you're right. Come on now. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. <laughs> you would hope Hold not. Hold on a second. I can't let that comment stand. Oh, sure. Everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. Mm -hmm. But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy. As long as you use the Necronomicon. Stop trying to stop trying to make us go off track. Stop trying to make what us go off track. What are you talking about? There's no way that's possible. You try to scare him. But it's true. I never lie about motives. Hmm. Daddy said so. So he can't be wrong. Oh, here goes the peanut the dead yeah. is totally possible. Oh my god. Man. I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. You should have let me use it to bring Monodum back to life. Oh, you wish. Monodum is still alive, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. I 
wouldn't waste the resurrection on Monodem's corpse. He, okay, he's gonna be the next one. The red one is gonna be the next one to die at the end of this. That that one's gonna die. It's just gonna be green and pink left. Watch, oh, watch. So resurrecting the dead was actually possible this whole time? Mm. There's no way it's possible. There's okay, no can we get past that? Idiots. Monokuma is trying to confuse us. Right, thank Let's you. Let's hurry up and find out who the Blackened is. Thank you, Maki. If our transfer student isn't the culprit, then blame falls to one of us. Mm -hmm. Who? Who did it? Hmm. Step aside, Half Pint. I'll handle this. Oh? I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie. Oh, hold on. She's on to him too, like me. But it's a little early in the oh. trial. So I don't know if that's correct. I don't know. Don't play dumb with me, creep show. I already know what happened. Oh? Oh, Mew? Are we are we here? Are we here? I don't know. Hold on. Okay, let's see, let's see. The oh, it used it... a katana to kill Angie. Hmm. And it was oh. found in Keo's research lab. Uh-huh. Which makes uh -huh. you, Keo, automatically suspicious. Mm -hmm. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. That's true. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. Hmm. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. Hmm. I did not care about some katana. Hmm. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. You huh. went to the classroom, broke in. Wait, 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 that, that right, shit, that right there? Shit, wait, I hit the, the wrong out thing. Of Angie. I hit, I hit the wrong thing. Oh yeah, thing. Hold on, hold I'm on, hold a on. fucking genius. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Is Corey Keo really the culprit? Does that story fit the facts of the case? You should think about it from the beginning. Let's, let's skip <laughs> forward, let's skip <laughs> forward. It's not that, it's not that. <laughs> let's skip forward. Not that one. Not that one. Okay. Mm. Okay, okay. This one. This one. This one is right here. This one right there. Shit! I missed her! Uh, Cause it's moving! Fuck out of Angie! Lord, shit! Alright, 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 alright. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. I missed because it's freaking move. Oh my god. Okay. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. I missed because it's freaking move. We need to relax. Okay? <laughs> I did not care about some Okay. Yep, let's get past that. Let's get past that. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now we now we're hitting it. There we go. There we go, man. Jeez, the game trying to trip me up by moving these words back and forth so I can't hit it. <laughs> no. I guess that's why I need my focus. Able to enter Angie's lap. Hmm. Isn't that right, Tsumugi? Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research lab, mm -hmm. she said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. That's true. And Keo is not a member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. Mm -hmm. Keo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. Oh, really? I had no desire to kill her in the first place. Mm -hmm. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. Okay. I can't believe you actually got it. I feel like this might be another case of uh, <laughs> when I thought that little man was the killer and he wasn't, I feel like this might be another case of that. Like where I'm accusing Keo and it's not him. <laughs> oh man, okay. Oh, how clever. You can mm. just ignore her, Gonta. Oh. The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Kibo. Sumugi, and Himiko. And Himiko. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. Hmm. I trust their friendship. <laughs> you guys do too, right? I sense some sarcasm yeah, in there. Yeah, of course. Hmm. Can we trust their friendship so readily? Hmm. Obviously. Let's believe in them. Oh, yeah. He's he's being sarcastic. That trims our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, Samugi, and Kibo. Hmm. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. Hmm. You mean one of those two people. Because a robot ain't people, Jack. Okay, y'all can y'all stop coming for Kibo down. I will let that remark slide. Right. Anyway, aren't just these accusations slide. just a tad too hasty? Yes. What else? The culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi. Well. I mean, Kokichi's still one of my suspects, too. No, so not Gonta. Him. Gonta would never kill Angie. Hmm. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Huh. Hey, stick up for me too. <laughs> right, he's like, where's my defense? Gonta definitely <laughs> not hurt anyone. 
Torture Gonta if you don't believe. Oh. Torture might be a bit too far. Right. But Gonta and I aren't the culprits. And I'm not the culprit either. Jeez. <laughs> He's like, that's I'm not the culprit. not the culprit. All right, all right. Panic debate, all right. All right, here we go, here we go. Mass panic debate. Let's see. Okay, the art lab's back door. Okay. All you right. must consider other possibilities. Hmm. What possibilities? Surely there must be a suspect who will not betray Gentlemen, student council. Gentlemen, not betray student council. Okay. okay. And do you have an possible? Hmm. Not just in room talking that door. Hmm. Why? Then Only she student council members access. Huh. I didn't oh. know robots told such boring lies. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I found it. Remark. I think I found it, because Keisha can get in there with his lockpick. So hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Must consider right. other possibilities. Let's see. Sure, there must Let's be that. That. No, not that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not that. I think it's that right there. That right there. Oh, shit. Shoot it, shoot it, ass. There we go. I'm pressing X. <laughs> hold up, because you can get in any room that you want to, Kokichi. Let's back it up here. Let's back it up. Hold no. up. It wasn't just student council members that could have opened that lab door. Right. Hmm. What was it you said earlier about Kyo opening the door, Shuichi? Mm hmm? Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab. But then right. she let us in. I was referring forget? to Kyo. He couldn't have done hmm. it. But you could have. Exactly. Because I saw you open the classroom lock by picking it. Right, you let us in. Uh-huh. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. And then he opened it. There we go. See? He forgot already. Or he Ooh, wanted to forget. That happened? I totally forgot. Mm -hmm. So you're going sure to you pretend did. you don't remember, huh? Right. <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Hmm. Yeah, I did it. You did what? I killed Angie. No, you did. Okay. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Wait, what? What did you just say? No, he did not. Not, not a minute like this. Lab, snuck into the room, and then wham! Mm -mm. Killed Angie. See, that's a lie already. It, it could be. It could be a lie already because she died from, well, she died from a neck wound in the back, but she did get hit in the front, so I don't know. I don't know. The culprit was me all along. That will be too fast for class trial. What? what are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? Right. Nah, no joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. Hmm. And it helped. I feel so much better. Whew! He's just lying. What he's is just lying. So Kokichi really is culprit? He has to be lying. No, he's lying. Right, I think. I think. Maybe? I don't know. He's lying. I'm certain of it. Oh? No, no. Definitely not a lie. I killed Angie. Did you really? Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? No. Then let me ask you, culprit. Right. How did you lock the room? Mm-hmm. Huh? Well, it's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside. No, you can't no, do that to the back that door. Doesn't make sense. Can't do that to the back door. Huh? What does it make mm -hmm. sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? Not the Maybe, back one. But that's not how the culprit locked the room. Hmm. They used a different method. Hmm. What different method? Yeah, mumbles. Use ah. your big boy <laughs> voice and explain yourself. Huh. Uh, there were two doors to the classroom, mm -hmm. and the one locked last was... The one in the front. Okay, the front door. Right? The door, the culprit locked last to seal the room was the front door, right? Or no, oh shit, okay, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. No, okay, I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't understand the question. I didn't understand the question. Okay, the back door. That's it. There we go. I didn't understand the question, y'all. Don't, don't kill me, don't kill the me. The back door. That's how they made this a locked room mystery. Mm-hmm. The back door had a sliding lock, yes? Yeah. How was it locked from the outside? Hmm. The culprit used a certain tool. Oh? The tool that the culprit used to lock the sliding lock from outside. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, this again. Oh, good lord. Okay, um... When I did this before, I was just hitting random colors, okay? I was just hitting random colors. Okay, not Monokuma. Okay, there we go. Let's get, let's get that. Hold on. Let's get, or, was it, was it that? What is that? Huh. 
Was it? Or was it this one? Okay, okay, it was that one. It was that one. I okay. All right. It, it got me tripped up when I saw the axe. I was like, wait. <laughs> The gold leaf katana that was stabbed into Kaede's effigy. Mm -hmm. The culprit used that to hit the knob of the sliding lock oh, to lock the door. I see. I see. That's so why I was stabbed the sliding lock because... Hmm. Because when the katana hit the lock, mm -hmm. some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. Mm -hmm. The gold leaf on that katana did peel rather easily. As long as you yeah. touched it, it came hmm. off. That huh. evidence rings a bell. Specifically, a school bell. Mm -hmm. Sugar, are you talking about a different school? Yeah. What school was it? The one from the no, first no, game. That doesn't first matter game. anymore. Let's not dwell on the past. Oh, he's like, that doesn't matter, okay? Ooh, That's not connected. <laughs> landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. Mm -hmm. So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, how did they move it with the katana? And from outside Angie's lab? Hmm. The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. Okay, so let's see it, because I'm kind of confused too. It I'm was an odd set, together. after all. Hmm. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigies hung upside down. Mm -hmm. So Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? No. Huh. Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. That's true. I did not notice that. If I it was not, not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? Hmm. A different purpose? What could that have been? Huh. The culprit somehow used the setup to lock the room. In that case, I need to know the reason behind every step of that setup. Huh. If I do that, the way the culprit locked the room should be clear. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. All right. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, we got it. We got it. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Okay. All right, come on, come on. Let's hit some hookers. <laughs> okay, don't don't follow my don't follow my example, y'all. Don't follow my example. Okay, let's see. Let's get all the letters first. Let's get all the letters first. Let's not hit any cards. There we go. Okay, there's three over there. This reminds me of like Mario Kart, y'all. Let me try to get the item boxes. This, that's what this reminds me of. Bam, bam. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, and we only got one more left. Okay, there we go, there we go. There we go, okay, what turned the handle of the sliding lock? Was it, who, who was it? Oh, okay, think it time, think it time. Or what was it, I should say. Okay. The effigy's hand or the katana's hilt? The effigy's hand. The katana's hilt, right? There we go, there we go, okay, hit one hooker, let's go, all right, there we go, there we go, okay, the hilt of it, hit it, all right, there we go, there we go, we get it together, we get it together, let's go, got that one, bam, all right, okay, I don't know what that, I don't know what that question said yet, I have no idea, hold on, bam, there we go, Try not to hit no cars. Okay. It says what? Something. Something done to the. Something what? What? Why? Why was? Or what? What was done to the? To the? What was done to make the katana turn the lock? What was done to make the katana turn the lock? Okay. There we go. What was done? What was done? Okay, okay. What are the what are the choices? What are the choices? What are the choices? Come on, y'all. Let's go. We gotta hit these hookers. Let's go. Okay, Katana was stabbed into the effigy. Sliding door was tampered with. No, it was that one. There we go. There we go. I pay attention. I pay attention. Let's go. Two hookers and one car. Let's go. Let's get a third. Alright. Next question. Next question. I kinda like this. I kinda like this versus how they did it before. Like before they did it with like a little skateboard. I kinda like I like driving like I'm in GTA hitting hookers, getting up in the car. It's right, I like it. All right, let's get that. Okay, let's not hit that car. All right. Oh, then poor Angie's student council thing. She's dead. Why? Why are they gonna show us that? Why are they gonna show us that? Oh, I gotta, I gotta get away from that car. There we go. We gotta sacrifice some of those letters. 
We gotta sacrifice the little clips. There we go. Bam. There we go. Okay. How was that that you manipulated to make the katana affect the block? Now that is the real question. Because I have no I have no Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Spinning it, swinging it, swinging it back and forth, swinging it back and forth. Who's on a rope? Oh shit! No! Making it, spinning it? Spinning it? Spinning it. I thought it would be back and forth because like, I thought that it could like swing and like hit the thing. Okay, whatever, whatever. I, <laughs> oh well, I got it though. That's it. The reason the culprit stuck the katana into the effigy Hmm. Was so that it would hit the sliding lock as the effigy spun. Effigy but I need to see spun? the spinning. Right. I'm confused about that. That's right. If you spun the effigy, the rope it was hanging from would twist. Oh, I see it. Then when you let it go, it'll eventually untwist itself back and then go hit it. Man, these killers, the whole professionals, okay? Like thinking about all of this and and thinking about physics and how things will fall like <laughs> and once they let go it could just go ahead yeah. and turn if you let it go yeah the rope would unwind and the effigy would spin the other way yep it would and of course the katana would spin with it hmm hmm so if that's the I case see. so huh. the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place so if that's the case, then when it was spinning, did it stab also slice the back of Angie's neck when it was spinning? Because there was blood on the tip. And the blood can't come from the wax effigy. The culprit so, simply needed to spin the effigy's uh, rope. And then swift this would cause the spinning hmm. katana to hit the sliding lock. And thus was the back door of an empty classroom locked from the inside. Huh. Okay. Yes. That's how Angie's lab was locked. By using the effigy with a katana. A man born from the heart of a sword traveling through the air to intercept us. Okay, let's oh, not pay attention to her. Couldn't have moved the slide lock so easily? The sliding lock was pretty loose. A little push could move it. Mm -hmm. As long as the spinning katana hit the lock, it would have slid into position. Okay. Even if the culprit failed the first couple times, they could keep trying until it locked. Which is why the culprit chose to strike at nighttime as to avoid detection. Right. Yes. Since the student council prohibited anyone from walking around at nighttime. Mm -hmm. Are you saying it's the student council's fault? Uh oh. She's about I to take a bet. Right. In any case, the culprit probably used the murder weapon for this trick. Hmm. It had to have been the right length to hit the sliding lock from the effigy. The culprit couldn't find a blade long enough in my lab. So they settled for that. Uh huh. Because you have short weapons in yours. The other effigies were only hung up, so we think it was some kind of ceremony. Hmm. That way, we wouldn't notice the lock trick. Hmm. But Kokichi did say earlier that he could have picked the lock closed. He could have the front one. I don't want to completely ignore that possibility. Exactly. But I can't imagine the culprit would have done all this just for a distraction. If that's the case, then Kokichi's confession earlier was actually... Seriously? Mm. You fucking lied again? I mean, are we surprised? Are we really surprised? He's been lying this whole damn game. He's probably not even a ultimate evil whatever. Whatever he claims he is. He's probably just the ultimate liar. And what he proclaimed he was was a lie in itself. Probably. Probably. Pop it up, Kokichi! Mm. Oh, man... You guys got me. Okay, I'm not the culprit. Yeah, of course not, but you know. Telling the truth this time, right? Oh. I want to say I'm lying, but I'm not. Hmm. Why did you say you were the culprit? To start some drama. I wanted to lure the culprit out. Hmm. If I claim to be the culprit, then the real, then the real culprit would agree as well. You get me? True. And if they pressured me to confess, then that would have looked mighty suspicious. Hmm. Sheesh. Darn it. It didn't go my way because Shuichi butted into my plan. <laughs> oh, 
fault. It's my fault now. Right. You and your fucking lies. <laughs> Go sit in the corner and play with yourself. Oh my god, Mew. Okay, I'll start right now. Oh, please don't. We don't want to see that here. All right. Please don't. So, who's the asshole who set up this locked room mystery? Hmm. Mew. I can't hold it up anymore. Oh my god, ew. What's the matter? You going soft on me now? Oh, he got performance issues? <laughs> Who made the locked room mystery doesn't matter since anyone could have done it. Hmm. Don't you even understand something as basic as that, you filthy cum dumpster? Ooh! Cum dumpster! That is probably finally, the most terrible insult. Finally called me a cum dumpster! You wanted to be called that? I don't. Okay. What should we talk about now? Let's move on. Let's move we on. We must focus not on the locked room, but on who entered Angie's lab. Mm -hmm. Only one of the student council members or, or Kokichi, Kokichi could have gained right. entry. Hmm. Therefore, the culprit must be among their number. Hmm. That leaves us with four suspects. Sumugi, Gonta, Kibo, and, and Kokichi. Kokichi. Still. Don't forget Himiko. She's also a part of the student council. She is. Doesn't but matter I don't if she was besties she would... with Angie. She's still a suspect. But see, Tenko's dead too. And I don't think that she would kill two of the closest people to her. I don't know. That contradicts what you said earlier, which I can prove using my recording function. Mm-hmm. It's fine. That's just a waste of time. Mm -hmm. A suspect? Uh-oh. I never kill Angie. Oh. So calling all suspects, what should we discuss next? <laughs> I want to hear everyone's opinion. What would you say to get yourself off the suspect list? Hmm. Why are you trying to lead the debate? You're a suspect right. too. Right, she's like, you are so Silence, suspicious. outsider. Only the uh, suspect rangers are allowed to speak. You know what? Suspect rangers? Right. I agree. Those under suspicion should explain themselves thoroughly. Hmm. We might catch them with their pants down. Oh, please. Anyway, no. I want to ask the suspect rangers, hmm. what should we talk about? What should we say to get ourselves off the suspect list? Well, guys, I want to hear what you think. Hmm. Um... That's sort of a difficult question, you know? Going to so not smart doing? enough to know answer to that. How about I just say what y'all were doing yes, that night? Yes, it is difficult to formulate a logical response to that question. Hmm. Not articulate with words, huh? Don't you guys want to prove your innocence? Right. They don't trust you one bit, and I don't blame them. You're probably plotting. I... Ooh. Huh? Oh. Oh. I want to know what happened to Angie, too, but... Mm. Can we talk about Tanko's case now and not just Angie? <laughs> oh. I got you exactly where I wanted, Himiko. Oh? Mm. Oh? What do you mean? Right. The two victims could have been killed by two separate murderers, you know. They could have, but it, the thing is, they did it in the same exact way as the first one. So that's what makes me think that it's one person. So we need to find the first blackened responsible for the first victim. Hmm. We've got to figure out who killed Angie. Until we solve Angie's hmm. case, Tenko's case is meaningless. Did you suggest that to waste our time? It's not meaningless. Uh oh. Uh oh. Himiko, she saw her emotion. Meaningless. How dare you? Hmm. Poor Tenko. How could you do this to her? Oh, poor baby. Hmm. Himiko, stop it with your crappy lies. Oh. Lies. Everything you said is total BS. Oh. You didn't give two shits about Tenko when she was alive. Ooh. But now you're like, oh no, poor Tenko, after she's dead. Come on, really? I mean, she did treat Tenko a little wrong sometimes when Tenko was only looking out for her best interests and trying to protect her. But, yeah, I don't Kokichi, know. Kokichi, enough. Hmm. No, it's okay. Mm. It's no surprise he'd think that. I know I ignored Tanko before. But that's why I'm so upset now. Aww. I should have faced Tanko. Worked things out with her while she was still alive. Aw, Tanko really didn't deserve this no. death. Like, she did not. It's too late. She did not. I can't complain to her or thank her. Mm. It's too late. Yeah, seriously. It's way too late to realize that now. Oh. Our only option is to face her death head on. I mean, we do have to just accept it. Face her death? Yeah. Himiko, I understand what you're going through. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to help you out. Let's work together to find the truth. Aw, Kai 
Naito, you're so you're so sweet, man. You you're bae. You're bae. I'm not gonna let anyone say her death didn't matter. Thank you. There we go. Uh-huh. Alright. I'll put a silencing curse on whoever calls Tango's death meaningless. Okay, let's not do that during the class trial. We need to get more information still. You can do that later. The <laughs> name of the curse is Death Curse! Excuse me? I am um, suppose being dead would silence someone pretty good. Right. Listen up! All you guys are gonna help out too. Mm-hmm. Abandoning someone who died and only thinking about your own survival. That's just as bad as a hit and run. Mm -hmm. I won't forgive something so messed up. Mm. Tenko was our friend. I know. Gonta wanna know why she died too. Mm -hmm. I already told you that's so unnecessary. We're getting sidetracked here. No, we need to figure no, it even out. Even if it was a different culprit, we need to know how Tenko died. Right. If we don't find out who killed her, we won't be able to work together. Not now, not ever. Well, somebody underneath the floorboards killed um Tenko. And I still think, that's why my suspicion goes to Theo. Because he was in a room when it was black, and I don't know, Kakishi could have done it too. Like, it's, it's, I don't know, I don't even know. Even if this trial isn't for her, in order for us to survive, we need to get to the bottom of Tenko's death. That's right. Not just to survive this trial, but so we can keep going and live on. There we go. Fulfill Kaede's wish. Kaito. Finally, Finally you uh, noticed. Jeez, you're so slow. Oh? Huh? Did Kokichi want us to notice? What? Don't listen to his crap. We haven't decided whether there were two different culprits yet. Hmm. Let us talk about Tenko's case then. Perhaps that will provide us a clue. Yes. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. They're not wrong, but I don't mind going over Tenko's case. But that was an abrupt change of topic. Was that intentional? So huh. what do we talk about first? So For now, to get away let's see if we can one? narrow down the list of suspects. Hmm. Ten Crotch probably got killed during the seance. So oh my ever God. Jesus. Right. Come on, Mew. The people who attended the seance. The people who attended the seance was Kraikyo, me, Kimiko, yeah. Kibo, Kibo, Kibo was there, but he left. So is it the first That's one? It. Okay, yeah, Kibo was there, but like they kicked him out. It was so. me, Kyo, Himiko, and Kokichi. Right. So those four are the culprits. Hmm. Oh, Himiko still culprit? Hmm. Well, that's probably just a coinkydink. The most suspicious out of the four is really Kyo. He suggested the whole seance idea. He, he did. He True. did. I may have suggested it, but I explained the procedure beforehand, yes? He sure did. He if we sure all did. knew of it before the murder, then we are all equally suspicious. Hmm. Well, I suppose, but... Hmm. In addition, the seance wasn't entirely in my control either. I was not the one who selected the room we performed it in. It was Himiko. Oh, oh, that's true. That's true. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? And she said the middle room. The middle room is always the best for stuff like this. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. Uh oh. oh. Uh oh. Right. Uh oh. Also, Himiko. we should not limit our suspects to only those who participated in the seance. Yes, because it could be somebody that was outside because whoever was outside while the seance was going on, they could have went to that left room. Could have went to that left room, went down in the floorboards, went over, killed her ass, come back up out, and never been in a room because they didn't see her. Them. I'm not going to automatically assume it's a she, but see them, okay? The empty room had a point of entry from outside, you see. It did. It did. A point of entry from outside. You must be referring to the left room. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Out. Right there, right? Right there. Is it the... Oh, shit. See, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, God. I was Okay, wrong. okay. Look, 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 y'all. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I just, I just don't know where. Was it there? The floorboards were loose? What the fuck? Where was it? Damn it. It's over here. There. Didn't I press that the first time? Didn't I do that the first we're time? You know what? Whatever. Floor, whatever. Right? Whatever. I did that the first huh? time. Another I knew floor? what I was aiming for. Lord. I knew what I was aiming yes, for over there. A crawl space under the floor a person could move through. Right. There was also a hole that connected it to the neighboring room. 
Oh my god. I knew what I was going for, y'all. I knew it. If the culprit used the hole, they could have entered and exited the seance room. Right. If we consider that possibility, then there is another suspect. Mm -hmm. Another suspect? Who? Kokichi. Up. <laughs> uh? It's appearing before me. Oh? Ooh, I can see it clearly. Hmm. The true identity of Tenko's killer. Oh, can you? Can you? Because he's still, he's still low-key suspicious in my mind. He's still low-key suspicious. I don't know. The culprit okay. sneaked in during the seance. Uh-huh. By crawling under the floor. Uh-huh. But it was pitch black during the seance. Mm -hmm. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Mm. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. Oh? You see, our villain had a light. Oh! Light? You mean candle? I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Oh! Huh? Now, hold on a second. Mm. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor mm. and sneak into the empty room during the seance! Huh. I said, hold on a second. Right, let him talk. He used his robot functions to commit the murders. Oh my God, nobody's gonna hold let him talk. Hold on a second. Nobody's gonna let him talk. It's true, there was a little light. You could move around under the floor. But is that possible? Skip that, skip that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, ooh. Okay, wait a minute. Ooh, shit, shit. There we go, there we go. I don't know why I keep pressing X. I keep pressing X like I'm shooting the silencer stuff. Like, I need to shoot the actual truth bullet. I don't think the culprit could have used a light while under the floor. We would see it. There was a hole in the corner of the room. Mm -hmm. If a light were used, it would have leaked through and we would have seen it. There we go. There we go. See, we here. Right. here. When we did the seance, the room was definitely pitch black. Mm -hmm. So a light was not shined under the floor, which means you cannot claim I am the culprit. There you go, Kiba. I knew you weren't. Jeez. Here I thought this would be the case where the murder could only be done by a robot. Mm -hmm. You have accused me of being the culprit more right. than once now, simply because I am a robot. Right, he's robophobic. My on, status now. as a robot does not mean I am capable of performing superhuman feats. Mm -hmm. My vision is somewhat poor, and I only possess average physical strength and intelligence. Oh. All right, all right, you made your point. God, now I feel <laughs> sort of bad for you. <laughs> I neither want nor need your pity. There we go. There we go, Kibo. Hello. Look at the flashlight. It's way too bright. It would have been difficult to move around under the floor in that pitch black darkness. Mm -hmm. Maybe the floor and the hole have nothing to do with this case. No, I think it then does. Then why was floorboard under Tanko lined up funny? Right, because they used that to kill her. Grown to mm -hmm. think that was so culprit could stab Tanko from under floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice observation, Gonta. Are you finally getting used to the class you trials? You better not be coming for Gonta. You better not. Uh -huh. You better not be coming for him. Thank you. Oh, Gonta, don't you don't like see that. it. You're right. You're better off not being used to this kind of stuff. Right. Maybe they marked Tinko with glowing paint and looked for that. Oh, oh. So now, now we're getting references from uh, the second game, the glowing paint. Huh. Gotta let the culprit find her. Then they could stab her through the floorboards. Mm. Oh, That's a reference that to the second really game. That sounds really familiar, too. That's but a reference to the second it. game. Yep, yep, yep. The I know that. Didn't have any trace of glowing paint though. Hmm. Oh yeah. So then, why was that floorboard loose? Hmm. The loose floorboard was the one under Tenko, right? Mm -hmm. If the culprit used it while she was still alive, she'd totally notice. Mm -hmm. Who fucking cares? Fussing over that won't get us closer to the culprit. But she couldn't speak, we or else it wouldn't work. We shouldn't dismiss this line of inquiry, however. Instead of butting our heads against this, hmm. how about we concentrate on another issue? What? What other issue? Perhaps first, we should figure out how and when exactly Tenko was killed. Well, I think it was the when? thumb. So not during seance? Hmm. Tenko was in the metal cage for the whole seance, wasn't she? Yes. How could someone have gotten to her there? Maybe the culprit killed her before she went under the metal cage. Mm, what? That's not possible. No. She was alive at that point. Right. Okay, this is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Understood? I will not say a word until the seance is over. See, look. That's why yes. she couldn't speak under there. She was unmistakably alive when the seance began. Hmm. That was right before we blew out the candles. But when the light came back, mm -hmm. 
She was dead underneath. The floorboard was removed at that point, so it's likely she was already dead then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we she was killed when the room was here. dark? Yeah. But she was inside Cage, right? Mm -hmm. Going to think it impossible to kill her then. Unpossible? But she wasn't killed when the room was dark. It was a different time. Oh? A different time? Oh, really? How the fuck should I know? You <laughs> figure it out, shithead. She's like, I don't know, okay? Let's just get this class trial done. Mew, oh my god. Huh? <laughs> Since Gonta said it was impossible, I'm proposing an alternate theory. Mm -hmm. Now hurry up and think! If you okay, want to make the golden brain tingle, start circle jerking your lipstick brain! Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> all right, Mew. Damn! <laughs> she got me so vulgar all the time. I love it. <laughs> all right. When Tenko got hmm. killed, oh, the white sheet didn't wasn't have anything. during the seance. White she didn't have it any blood have on it. Done at any other time. Hmm. She was under the cage the whole time. She was. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. Hmm. Okay. What about moment cage was lifted? Huh. Ooh, like that. Oh. Oh. When cage ew. lifted. Culprit stabbed Tango real fast. Hmm. So fast, no one saw. Hmm. Oh, my. oh my gosh, she about to. Have so who lifted the cage? Huh. Uh, it was me. No. <laughs> then obviously Himiko is the culprit. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There's no down. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Tenko not being killed during the seance. That might not be impossible, but there's no evidence. It might have Let's fast that. forward that. It could not have been done at any other time. Mm -mm. She was under the cage the whole time. And she was dead. Okay. okay. Let's skip forward that. What about moment cage was lifted? Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. Let's get that. Let's get that out the get that out the way. Thank you. Let's hit that. Lord, that's wrong. There we go. No, it wasn't possible to kill her the moment the cage was lifted. Mm -hmm. Because the inside of the white cloth had Tenko's blood on it. Shit. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Before the cage was lifted. Oh my if god. If Tenko was stabbed dead, there wouldn't be blood on the cloth. Uh huh. What? That's true. But how could my golden brain be wrong when it felt so, so right? The only possibility is that Tenko was killed during the sale. I got your remodel right here. Oh, oh, Mew. What we doing, no. Mew? It's still wrong to think that Tenko was killed during the seance. Hmm. What? I'm gonna prove it right now. My golden brain is gonna go all out. Oh, okay, girl. All right, let's do it then. Oh, shoot. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and cut these out. The marker stone, the loose floorboard. Tenko the died floor. after the seance. <sighs> it happened when the sheet was lifted. That was the moment the culprit chose to stab the fuck out of Tenko through the cage. They hmm. stuck the thin blade through the gaps of the cage. And mm -hmm. that clean white sheet got stained blood red. Hmm. Okay. But the weapon was a sickle. Right. Only the blade could have fit through the gaps. Uh-huh. The so blade's all you here? need. Huh. If you stick the blade through a gap in the oh, cage. My bad. My it'd bad. Be long enough to reach Tenko. Hmm. Sitting hmm. in there with her neck all exposed. Hmm. She wasn't that far from the cage's gaps. Huh. In which case. The person who lifted the sheet is the culprit. And mm. that's none other than Keo. Oh, everybody's pointing at Keo this whole time, yo. Okay, let me get that. It's ah. been long enough to reach there Tenko. There we go. Let's get these. Sitting Bam. in there with her neck all exposed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, there we go. And we got oh, a little cut your words. There we go. I hate to do it to you, Mew, but we got to stop it right there. Wait just a minute. Tenko wasn't sitting down inside the cage. Right. She was like a little turtle. Mm -hmm. She was bent over with her forehead against the marker stone. Exactly. And the cage itself was about three feet tall. Mm -hmm. The sickle's blade was too short to reach Tenko while she was in that position. Mm -hmm. Then I messed up again? It's okay, baby. How could this happen? I am so embarrassed. It's okay, Mew. We all Please, messed Mew. up some time. Everyone already knows you're an embarrassment to the human race. Oh, and what are you? Yeah, no worries. Zolta? Don't agree. Oh, how embarrassing. Oh, my if God. If Shuichi is right, 
then it's impossible for Tenko to have been killed through the cage. Hmm. She couldn't have been killed during the seance since she was in the cage, right? Hmm. If she was killed then, the cloth over the cage would have been pierced. Mm -hmm. Not during the seance or from below the floor. Hmm. Then it's impossible, isn't it? How? Yeah, then? for a living person. Oh? Huh? What? <laughs> what if Angie's spirit killed Tenko? I don't think so. Come what on are you now. talking about? Th Come that's on not now. possible. Right. You don't know that. Some things are impossible for a human, but not for a spirit. I don't think so. I don't think Angie Don't do that. say stupid stuff like that. S screw spirits. And he's just trying to make him scared. He's just Stop trying to stir the pot. Now. Right. Oh, here we go. Spirit killed Tinko? No. But why? I don't that's a lie. I Tinko? don't think so. I don't think why would so. Angie's spirit killed Tinko. Exactly. She what has if no reason Tinko to. killed Angie and then Angie's spirit came back for revenge. Like I said, that's impossible. Spirits can't be culprits. Can they? Then explain how the know. culprit killed Tenko under these impossible circumstances. They are a freaking professional. I don't know how they're doing it. I'm out. I'm honestly kind of stumped in this one. Honestly, yeah. Well, uh, hmm. see, you can't explain, can you? Only a spirit could have done that. Wait, I Ooh. know. What if the culprit was hiding inside the cage? How the hell? If they were in there. They could have stabbed Tenko during the seance. How the hell? No. If there was someone else in the cage, right. they would have noticed. I agree with Kaito. Huh? The culprit could have been inside the cage. How the fu- how? You do? Nonsense. There was no space in the cage for the culprit to hide. Right. Maybe the culprit wouldn't need to hide in the first place. What are y'all talking about? What? Also, the culprit could have killed her in the cage at any time. Hmm. I think you know what I'm getting at, right? No, I don't. Don't, don't, no, no, no. Don't, don't treat me like the first game. Like when they be like, oh, I know the answer, but I'm going to make you figure it out, okay? Like, no, come on. The they she's referring to is who? Who's they? They? What are you talking about? They? Would it be us that's inside the room? Who could have killed Tenko from inside the cage? I have no freaking idea. I don't know. Me? So I don't get you. You're really a narrow-minded for a detective. Look. I don't know. Look, look, y'all. I don't know. This one is stumping me. I have no idea. Who are they talking? Who would be in the cage? Oh, don't tell me that. Hold on. Hold on. Don't tell me that it's a damn suicide. Do not tell me that was a damn suicide. Are you serious? Are I you believe serious? Maki is referring to Tenko herself. How the f how? What did you say? How? Uh, how? Tenko is the culprit? How the hell? He committed suicide. What? T suicide? So someone did commit suicide this this chapter. But just not Angie, huh? So what? If she committed suicide, it would explain a lot of things we couldn't figure out. She volunteered huh. to be in the cage and then stabbed herself during the seance. True. It wouldn't matter how dark the room was. Huh. But the sickle she was stabbed with was under, under the floor, floor, right? If Tenko had stabbed herself, wouldn't the sickle still be inside the cage? Well, not with the flu uh, scoreboard. Oh my god. Mew actually said something smart. Oh my god. Perhaps Don't come That her. explains why the floorboard was removed. Huh. After stabbing herself with the sickle, she threw it underneath the floor. So she took off the floorboard to get rid of the sickle? Right. Yes. That makes sense to Gonta. Well, what? It doesn't make sense to me. Why would she kill herself? I don't no understand. For Tanko to commit suicide. Right. Maybe I wasn't too far off with the theory I had earlier. Hmm? You know, about Tenko killing Angie. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Because Tenko and Angie were fighting for your attention, right? They... Well, not so much Angie. She was just being a cult leader. Hey, Angie, when did you brainwash... Why did you brainwash him, though? Tenko's pent-up frustration led her to commit such an atrocity. Hmm. Her conscience couldn't handle it anymore. So she decided to end her own life. I don't know, man. That's what? wild. That's but wild. if she was going to kill herself... Why do it during the seance? So that nobody could see? She wanted to hide the truth of her suicide. Hmm. Really? Why? There could only be one reason to hide it in the killing game, right? 
Hmm. It's to take us down with her. Right, I was about to say, to, take, to kill everybody? Like... <laughs> take us down? Hmm. She wanted us to pick the wrong answer during the class trial. Hmm. So she could bring us all down. She dark. wanted us to die with her. Okay, well, she probably just wanted Himiko to die with her. Uh, but still. Oh my god. But what are you saying? Himiko wasn't like that. Well, I don't know. There might be some fatal attraction there. Because she would do anything for Himiko. And I'm thinking that if Angie's dead, then she's like, oh, well. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Because... Tenko really loved this girl, so maybe she might have killed herself so that she could join, Himiko could join her in the afterlife, and they'll be together forever. I don't know. She told me. Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Hmm. What if all of that was just a lie? Oh? A lie? Mm? Wait. He's getting into you everybody's should believe heads, Tenko's yo. last words. Hmm. The true terror of class trials is that you shouldn't believe everything said. True. Himiko, you said that Tenko would never do anything like that. Hmm. But how can you be so sure? Did you guys actually know each other? Not for long. People keep all sorts of secrets. Like Maki. She hid the fact that she's a cold-blooded killer. Um, for good reason. Because if y'all are in a killing game, I don't think that the ultimate assassin would be everybody's friend off the bat. Like, that's not gonna happen. Come on is now. it wise of us to trust other people wholeheartedly in this kind of situation? Hmm. Jeez, you're such a naive dude. Oh? Naive? We're all just people, you know? Of course we're gonna have some secrets. Mm -hmm. What matters is whether there's any malice behind them. People right. can lie about how malicious their hidden secrets really are. Hmm. Well, duh. It's impossible to know for sure what others are thinking. That's why it all comes hmm. down to whether or not you believe in yourself. If you get betrayed, it's not their fault. It's your fault for believing in them. Well, I, no, I, I think it goes both ways. How dare you betray me, first of all. <laughs> and then, two, yes, it might be my fault for believing you, too. But damn, I, I wouldn't get betrayed if you didn't betray me. So, soon, I'm the person's fault. That's why I believed in Maki Roll, because I wanted to believe in her. Hmm. Just because you're acting all cool doesn't mean you get to skip training. <laughs> hey, come on. Don't you think you're being a little too strict? Oh, I love that. Yeah, I love their relationship. We come from different backgrounds. So for now, let's agree to disagree. Hmm. No one's ever called me naive before. Oh, oh from Kaito? Seriously? Does that get underneath your skin? Does that boil you? I believe. Hmm. My heart can't reach Tinko anymore. Aww. But I want to believe in her. She wouldn't commit suicide. She wouldn't try to take us down. I don't think so. That's like, what I it's want so. To I, me too, me girl. Too. I... Gonta, no can believe Tenko commits suicide. Right. But if Tenko did commit suicide, that would answer all of our questions. Hmm. If you insist we believe in Tenko, then provide a reason to do so. Okay. A proper reason. All right. I'll give you a reason. Hmm. Is there a reason? Right. Is yes, there? Yes, there is. Will you trust me, Maki? Oh? If it turns out I'm wrong, you can blame me all you like. Mm. But for now, I need you to trust in my detective work. Okay. I don't believe Tango would kill herself because of what she said. For us to survive together. Okay, everyone, I'll see you guys after the seance. Like she wanted to see us. She said, see you guys after. I doubt she had a sudden change of heart. Just because we don't know how she was killed doesn't mean that it was suicide. We shouldn't be satisfied with that. And if we keep thinking, we'll find the truth. And that means we have to believe in Tenko. I'll make them all believe. All right, all right, Sherlock Shalisi, let's go. Let's go. All right, what we got here? What we got? What we got? Okay. Tenko's last so moment. Far, suicide seems maybe? to be the best explanation. Mm. Her plan was to take us down with her. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So she hid her true intentions. Mm. Tenko's not that kind of person. Right. But if Tenko did commit suicide, mm. it would explain how she died during the sands. She True. could have secretly brought the sickle huh. and then stabbed herself with it. How does she secretly? Finally, well, with the last the of her strength, mm. she threw the sickle underneath the floor. Mm. All the pieces fit. Mm. Okay. Everyone 
thinks that Tinko committed suicide, but only because they're latching on to the easiest answer. To get out of this, I need to make them think their suicide theory wouldn't work. So oh, far, do I lie then? Seems to be the best explanation. Do I lie then? Her plan huh. was to take us down with her. Huh, okay, so let's, let's go forward then. Do I lie? Okay. Okay. Let's get, no, not that. Not that. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. wait a minute. Bam, she's dead. There we go. I reveal the truth. Huh, reveal the truth of the lie. That does make this trial like kind of harder to figure out. couldn't have thrown the sickle out. under the floor. Hmm. Because she died instantly. Hmm. Instantly? Hmm. I think Maki knows that that's a lie too. Her death might have not have been instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. Uh huh. Maki knows I'm that she's an assassin. Of My investigation determined that she died instantly. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion, Maki? I'd like to hear from someone who specializes in murder. Well, go along with it, Maki. Go along with it. Go along with Maki. it. Maki. Go along with right. it. I completely forgot about that important detail. Mm hmm Tinko died instantly. There we go. There we go, Maki. See, look. She the MVP, yo. She the MVP. I love her. What? Mm -hmm. As an assassin, I specialize in killing my targets swiftly. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt that Tenko was killed immediately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Words of a true killer. Pretty sure we can believe everything she said. Mm. <laughs> She's like, I still don't like your ass, Kokichi. <laughs> so thank you, Maki. How could you We're forget with that, that lie. Maki role? You better apologize to Shuichi. Excuse me? She's like, you just call me Maki. It's okay, Kaito, really. <laughs> no apology necessary. Hmm. Anyway, Tanko died so suddenly that she couldn't have gotten rid of the sickle. Mm -hmm. Knowing that, the theory that she killed herself just doesn't fit, correct? Correct. Just like I thought. Tanko wouldn't commit suicide. I was gonna say, that's wild if she did. Thank goodness, Himiko. Hmm. Which means someone definitely killed Tenko during the seance. Right. Her suicide was considered because we could not determine how she was killed. Hmm. No, there must have been a way. We're gonna figure it out. Yeah, we have Did to. Did any of the participants witness anything peculiar during the seance? Yes, the strange if you know that something, was there. Please speak up. It could be the key to solving this mystery. Let's get to me. This is not a bad idea. We should remember what happened at the seance. Let me try to remember. I'm sure there's something. I need that some kind of clue that will help me solve this mystery. It was the thud. It was the thud that we heard when we were in the middle of the darkness. What was that? The sound. Yes, the sound. Did anything seem out of the ordinary during the seance? Yes. The there sound. is something that bothers me. Uh huh. The fact that the seance failed. Mm -hmm. The ritual was perfect, and yet it failed. Huh. How utterly strange. Hmm. Now that I think about it. While we were all singing the song, mm -hmm. I heard something fall. Yeah. Okay. I'm more concerned about how dark it got in there. Uh-huh. I mean, it was totally pitch black. Mm -hmm. My job was to relight the candles. Moving along the walls was seriously tough. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I think I know what it is. It was pitch black during the seance that limits what could have happened. Just stay calm. Think. There must be some kind of clue. Yep. Okay, Did anything let's seem get back. Out of the oh, okay, let's get to what Himiko was saying. Let's see what Himiko was saying. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay. There. Uh-huh. Ah, okay, all right, all right. Let's shoot at that. Did I? Oh, fuck, I missed. God damn it. I'm more I missed. I missed, I missed, I missed. Okay, okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. All right. That's all I missed. Oh my god. I hate when I do that. All right. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. All right, all right. Let's hit that one. Hit that right there. Gee, what? Oh my god. I'm more concerned about how did I How am I missing? Oh my god, how am I missing this damn thing? I don't understand. I don't I don't understand. Okay, come on. Come on. We're wasting a lot of time on me missing these damn things. Yes. Yes, we get it. We get it. Alright. Alright. Let's freaking hit that thing. Lord! I agree. Thank you. Oh my god, Dad. Come on! Jeez! <laughs> I'm looking at it! You All think right. that something fell because of that sound you heard, right? Yes. Yeah. Jeez. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep, they were singing. And then bang. Yep. Hmm. And then they just kept going. Yep. It sounded like something heavy fell down and hit the floor really hard. Hmm. You could have fallen down. Was it the sickle? Fallen down? There wasn't anything on the ceiling that could have fallen down, right? Hmm. Am I wrong? I thought something fell, but... We heard something. The sound was pretty loud. It did seem like something hit the floorboards. Mm-hmm. A loud sound, like something hit the floorboards. Maybe that sound has something to do with the other thing that happened in the dark. Huh. The other thing that happened in the dark. Hold on. Was it... The loose floor... Okay, hold on. The loose floorboard. The white sheets. Hmm. The cross piece? Was it the... Was it that? No? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. Nobody's gonna believe... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know, we know. Oh, we no. know. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Because there's many things with the floor. Like, there's a lot of things with the floor, so I didn't know which one exactly it was. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. What? Did I pass it? Did I pass it? Okay, wait a minute. There we go. This is it. Okay. The little scoreboard. I don't... Look, there's many things. I this think the floor. floorboard hey. coming off had something to do with that sound. Mm -hmm. That floorboard came loose at some point during the seance, right? Mm-hmm. Could the floorboard have made such a loud sound, though? Yes. It was the Possibly? sound of an intense impact. Hmm. If the impact was that intense, then it could have loosened the floorboard. Uh-huh. That is true. There would have had to be a strong impact to make that sound. But what was it? What could it possibly be? Huh. All right, then. Let's go with that. We all got to put our heads together now. Kaito, you never give an answer. You just... You just... <laughs> Kaito never gives a solution. He'd just be like, all right, guys, we can do it. Like, he'll never be like, oh, it's this. All right. So what made the floorboard come loose? Hold on. This, Judging from maybe. the sound, there must have been considerable force. Mm -hmm. Someone who participated in the seance. Mm -hmm. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Right. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. No, it couldn't move. But it that move. statue was still on top of the cage. Right. It was Open heavy too. Under floor. Mm -hmm. Then stood up with such might. No, 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 no. But we already said there was no one under the floor. Hmm. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. Hmm. A floorboard hmm. that comes loose when you step on it is dangerous. Right. God, it's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball. You <laughs> hardly have any experience with balls to say that, Mew. Oh. D don't be stupid. Oh? Don't you know me and balls are the best of friends? Let me find out that she's actually like a virgin. <laughs> if I think about everyone's testimony and combine it with the facts. So what made the huh. floorboard come So I know it's the cross key. I know it's the cross key. Uh-uh. Nope. Not that. No. Not that. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They trying to get me. They try and get me. There we go. Let's just let's just agree with that. I'm not even gonna try to go for the B, because I'm gonna miss it and I'm gonna have to restart all over again. No, thank you. Kokichi is right. The floorboard came loose because someone stomped on it. Hmm. But floorboards fit perfect. Going to make sure first time we go to empty room. Hmm. When we first saw the room, yes. But when I looked again during the investigation. Mm -hmm. One of the cross pieces supporting the floorboards was cut off. Exactly. After examining the cut, I concluded that it must have been done deliberately. Hmm. Someone? You mean the culprit, right? Uh-huh. Why'd they do that? What did the culprit stand to gain by cutting the cross piece? Hmm. What did they stand to gain? That's the question. To solve this case, I'll need to think carefully about the cross piece and floorboard. Huh. Tenko's body was at one end of the loose floorboard. And the cross piece that had been cut was on the other end of the floorboard. The unsupported part was outside the cage, so it could have been stomped on. Hmm. Only one of the cross pieces was cut. The other two were intact. Huh. 
one of them was right under Tenko, and the other one was the center, right about where the edge of the cage was. Huh. What was the culprit attempting to achieve by stomping on the floorboard? Think, come on, think. To murder, maybe? I don't know. Murder? It to murder them? Um, shoot. Oh, shoot. You know what? I'm seeing a lot of S's, so let me just... Oh, oh! Okay, huh. Ah, uh, shoot, I saw it. A? Shit, okay, that's not right. Okay, okay. Okay, I see a what? A what? I saw, I saw what? Oh, see what? So whoa, so whoa. Okay, no, 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 okay, it's the. Uh... Mm, see, see what? See what? What the hell are these? What? See what? See so, see, see. see. as a seesaw. Hmm. A seesaw? Hmm. The cross piece at one end of the floorboard had been cut off. The other uh -huh. two cross pieces holding up that board were close to the cage. Meaning, mm -hmm. if you were to apply force to the end of the floorboard with no cross piece. Mm -hmm. Right. The next cross piece would act as a fulcrum to turn the floorboard into a lever. So this is basically saying that whoever the killer is, is in the room. So, that leaves me, Kimiko, Kyo, and Kokichi. And Kyo and Kokichi are still two of my suspects from the beginning. So, I still think it's Kyo. I'm thinking that it's Kyo. You know why I'm thinking that it's Kyo? Because... At the bottom, like, he would know where to center someone. He would know where to center someone if he was to do this. He would know where to, cent to, to center them in that, in that little summon circle, whatever he drew. So that he could do this to them. And then have that as a weight to weigh them down. It's, it's Keo. It gotta be Keo. It a gotta be Keo. capable of lifting up Tenko's entire body. Hmm. And he memorized the song, so he could low key be doing this the whole time he's singing. Yeah, that hmm. sounds like a seesaw, all right. But why bother lifting Tenko's body? Hmm. They couldn't have killed Tenko like that, unless they used the sickle. Hmm. That's exactly it. Using the seesaw trick, it was possible to kill Tenko with a sickle. Please show me how, I'm still confused huh? about that. How? Right. In order for the culprit to kill Tenko with a seesaw trick, the placement of the sickle is the most important factor. Hmm. The floorboard seesaw, the cage, and the blood on the white fabric. What conclusions can I draw from this? There's only one place the sickle could have been that is consistent with the evidence. Where was the sickle when Nintenko was killed? Underneath, right? Oh, the top of the cage? Or between the... Huh. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. What's wrong? Weren't you gonna tell us? Oh no. Everyone said, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. I think it's the top of the cage, but I don't wanna be wrong. That's it. Okay, so I was right, but like, how the, the how? was at the top of the iron cage with the blade facing down. Hmm. 
The reason we didn't see it was because of the fabric covering the cage. Also, the wooden statue kept the blade in place. It's mm. true that the sickle's handle was thick, which made the statue wobble. Uh -huh. but the statue's weight kept it from falling over. Huh. Once everything was in place, if you stepped hard enough on the seesaw, uh huh, then she would get stabbed in the back Tenko's of the neck. Tenko's body would have shot upward and hit the blade on the top of the cage. This is a professional. I still think she it's was bent over, meaning the sickle's blade would have connected with her neck. Mm -hmm. The six-inch sickle blade wasn't long enough to stab Tenko in a crouched position, mm -hmm. but with the floorboard acting as a seesaw, it could compensate for the blade's length. Mm -hmm. Bringing the victim to the sickle rather than bringing the sickle to the victim. That's mm -hmm. definitely an unorthodox idea. And wasn't Keo the one that placed the white cloth over it when they were setting up this whole seance? I think it's Keo, man. I think it's Keo. I think it's Keo. It's crazy, but it would explain how Tenko got stabbed while she was in the cage. Right. So the sound we heard was the culprit stomping on the floorboard. That mm. impact make floorboard come loose. Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned seesaw homicide. Uh, what the hell's a seesaw homicide? Right. That's fucking crazy. She said it like she said it before. The craziness is what really makes the killing game fun, you know? Oh my god. They can't god. get away with murder the normal way, so they gotta think outside the box. Hmm. Kudos, culprit. You did a great job keeping me entertained. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Well played, Himiko. Why you keep throwing the blame on yeah. Himiko? <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? Huh. The one behind the seesaw homicide. I don't think so. Why her? I don't think so. Because she's the only one capable of carrying out this plan. Why not you? You the set up this whole one? seance. Why is that? Why? Because this seesaw homicide required its location to be prepared beforehand. Which you would know By cutting too. the cross piece beneath the floorboard, you mean. Hmm. Then the culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. That okay. is why you chose that room for the seance. Is it not, Himiko? <sighs> Uh, no. Uh huh. Okay, we already went through the. We already went through that, so I'm not. I'm not gonna read it again. Oh uh, yeah, Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance. But no. She likely found out about my plans for the seance somehow. Hmm. You were quite vocal about the right, seance, Right, you Kyo. told everybody. You even had instructions for it in your lab. Hmm. You sure did. Our culprit, Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. Then she waited for me to host the seance and suggested the middle room. She led mm. us all into holding the seance right where she wanted it. Hmm. Then I don't think so. she killed Tenko. All according to plan. I don't think so. That's a lie, right? Himiko did such a thing? It could be Kyo too. In the end, Himiko, who Tenko cherished and loved, tragically killed her. Wait! We don't know that, right? We don't. He's wrong, right, Himiko? Himiko would never kill Tanko, right? Still, Tanko? You better defend yourself, girl, because y'all making yourself look guilty, and it's hard for me to defend you when y'all not talking, okay? So. Kill Tanko? Okay, come on, girl. Come on, Himiko? girl, say something. Say something. What's wrong, Himiko? Say something. Come on, is it true that using the middle room was Himiko's idea? But does that mean that Himiko really killed Tenko? Would something like that really happen? Something so cruel? I don't think so. I still think it's Kyo's ass. All right, class trial resume. Let's get back into it. Himiko, Answer you better us, speak. Himiko. Right. You Please chose talk. the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Mm. Then you used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? It's you, man. Well, donkey lips, oh. did you kill that twat? Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, must be some mistake. Hmm. No way Himiko is culprit. I don't think so either. Then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I mean, I said the same thing. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already. Right. Are Himiko? you even listening? Right. No, I'm not listening. Oh? What? I... I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Okay, Himiko, I understand that you have lost two very important people to you, okay? But we don't have the time nor the patience for this, okay? We don't, we don't need you going back to lazy mode. 
We need to figure it out because they're about to kill you. And if we're wrong, you're going to kill all our asses. So, speak up, okay? Come on now. Angie died. Tanko died. Why did I have to survive? Now she's having survivor's guilt. And now, you're all saying I killed them? Mm. I just don't care anymore. Aww. Himiko. Himiko. Yeah, whatever. If you want to vote for me, then... See, now... Go ahead. Now she don't care. She's like, you know what? Just go ahead and vote me so we can all die. She, that, <laughs> that's what she's saying now. The game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. Mm. That's not the problem. Right. Damn it. Don't tell me you've given up. Hmm. Himiko, don't give up. Right. Don't you understand? My life is riding on the outcome of this trial. Hello? Just shut up. I told you. I'm too tired. She's too tired to live it's now. It's all just a big pain. Mm. I can't put up with it anymore. Come on, What are baby. you talking about? If you give up here, you need to Come on. Oh? Himiko was the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. Yo, it gotta be Kyo. It gotta be Kyo because he is pushing so hard to kill her ass. It's, it's gotta be him. It's gotta uh, be. Impossible! Himiko would never kill Tanko! Himiko, not that kind of person. Gota can tell by Himiko's face. Mm -hmm. Himiko's a little slow, so <laughs> I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. Yes, she is. I she is very slow. Himiko's not the culprit. Um... Somehow. Mm -hmm. Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. We sure do. That does seem like rather a pointless quest. Oh, why not? Because you can no, set up this whole not. thing too. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. Mm -hmm. So no give up, Himiko. There we go. There we go, Gonza. Speak some sense. Himiko, I know how you feel. I felt the same way after Kaede died. But we can't give up. We survived. We can't give up for the sake of everyone who died. All right, come on, come on now. Kyo was the other one that set up this whole thing too. So he's a viable suspect. Come on now. Huh? The flaming seance in that room was Himiko's decision, was it not? True. What if someone steered her into picking that room? Nobody did. Of the three empty rooms, mm. why did you select the middle one? Because you laid your trap there. Nope. You was did. Trap only in that room? Mm. Other rooms may be Trap too. Mm. Yeah, even if Himiko picked the room, mm -hmm. someone else could have set that trap. True. Your opinions are empty words. Huh. Aw, oh, poor Himiko. If the culprit's plan was to make Himiko a suspect, they might have persuaded her to choose that room somehow. So, no, not that. Not that. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No. No. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Bam. There we go. Hey. There we go, Gonta. Being helpful. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> it's just like Gonta said. Each room was the same. They were all trapped. Mm -hmm. What? Is that true? Yeah. Kokichi will tell you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, my God. Are you serious? I was way too careless. Are you serious? Uh, wait, what are you talking about? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I guess there was no cross piece supporting this scoreboard, so I kind of stepped through. I want bad luck. So they were all set up the same. While you were in the room next to the crime scene, you found a loose floorboard, right? Yep. Well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and On tripped. accident. <laughs> what? Hold on. There was also a loose floorboard in the next room? Yep. So the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. Mm -hmm. If the culprit set traps in all the rooms, then they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. It could just be So anyone. the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh, ooh, you look a little shook now, do you, huh? Do you? What got you shaking up, Keo? Huh? I see. Huh? We were caught in the culprit's trap all along. It's your ass. It's a big ass like you. you. Right. But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Himiko, do you remember what Tanko told you? To fight and keep living on with everybody. Uh-huh, keep your chin up. Yep, we know. We know that. Live life facing forward. Mm. She said that to you, right? Mm-hmm. If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. 
True. She needs to fight. We're all trying to keep our promises Aww. to the dead. Hmm. Oh, Ryoma, I feel so bad about him. It's not just for our lives. It's for everyone who's died as well. Mm -hmm. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. We live on. Mm-hmm. You're right. Yeah, that's right. If mm -hmm. I gave up here, I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tinko. That's true. That's right. So let's do our best. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to say it's a pain anymore. Thank God. Because Lord, I'm getting tired of that. I'll fight alongside everyone and survive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Do not say everyone. Step. After all, the blackened is still among us. Mm -hmm. Hey, there you go. Killing the mood like usual. I mean, he's right, but though. Damn, well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect for my soul, bro. Y'all Soul, bro? Y'all gonna stop coming for Kibo. Well, anyway, do you think the blackened this time has some sort of superpower? Oh? What are you talking about? Right. Well, as a self-proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards, mm -hmm. isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Hmm. Ah, that is a good point. You know what? And that'll point to him as being the killer as well. Because when he put the little seance thing down, he did say that nobody should move from where they are and to do exactly what he says and nobody mess up his little salt circle. Because if they did step in the salt circle, they might have stepped on the floorboard. Maybe. So, hmm. It must have been barrier magic. Hmm. Well, that's one possibility. But I think it might have been something else. Right. Why did no one step on the floorboard until it was used for the murder? That's it. That must be the reason. Uh-huh. The reason was... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nope, not that. Okay, the magic circle. Uh huh. This is the it. Magic circle. Yup, yup, yup. That magic circle that killed. It's because of the magic Kyo circle at the scene of the did. crime. Uh huh. He said not to step in it. Uh huh. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may also unleash a curse. Uh huh. Curse of death. Uh huh. Before we begin uh -huh. the seance, we were warned not to step on the circle. By Kia. By Kia. The floorboard in question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. I knew it was Kyo's ass. I knew it. I knew it. So the I magic it, circle's purpose was to keep way, us away from the whole trick. I thought of a different way that he killed this girl, but I still came to the right conclusion, man. That was part of the culprit's plans, too? Hmm. That's right. If that's the case, then the culprit, there's no doubt in my mind, they're the one who killed Tenko. Only one person had the opportunity and the motive. Man, and to think that I liked your ass. You! You're not gonna shot! Be you. Right! Huh? Huh? Kyo. Was it you? Was it you, bitch? Hmm. Whatever are you talking about? Oh, now you don't know what I'm talking I'm about. I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Right. Kyo? Hmm. Why do you suspect me? Because, because you were the one who drew the magic circle. And you told us not to step in it, bitch. The huh. circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick. Yeah. But that's not all it was for. Mm-hmm. In order uh -huh. to make the murder succeed, variables like Tenko's position and the placement of the cage needed to be defined. Exactly. Exactly. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. To make sure in that short, didn't step in the it. circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Knowing that. The person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. There we go. Well, there we go. You got anything to say? Already. Did you do it? Right. Oh, there go the Windex. There go the Windex. Oh, look, there you go. There you go. What is so funny? I was just thinking. Oh. So this is how each blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. Hmm. What? You love it, don't you? An intriguing experience? But hmm. if I am the culprit, as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? Yes, you did. So, do tell. How what could I mean? have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? Um, we were all in the dark. We could have done it. That is problem. Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain 
I am the culprit. Oh, I'm sorry. How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? Hmm. I will explain that he loves in it. time. Please answer my question first. He loves to see how humans will decide what to do. The culprit sat on that exact floorboard, even in the darkness, but how? How did they move around in total darkness? In a room that dark, it's hard to imagine the culprit found the right board. Although, even after I put out the candle, I could move along the wall with my hand. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Did you figure it out? Hmm. That's it, the culprit didn't even have to see at all. They used... What? Not a sixth sense, but... Touch? Touch? That's it. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm like, um, The culprit that's... used touch. They didn't see, they felt. Mm -hmm. That way they could get around in the dark. Like how I got to the candle. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. It was So they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? Hmm. Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? The statue? Of course, the answer to that is there was nothing of the sort. Oh, please. No, I'm sure there was something. A landmark they could have used to determine where the floorboard was. It must have been at the scene. I know it. So the, the dog, right? The cage. Cage? Is it cage? Oh, shit. Is it cage? Fuck! Okay, so it's not cage dog. Ma oh, wait. Magic? Magic circle? Magic circle. Gotta be magic circle. Okay, okay. Okay. Magic. Okay, where's the eye? Okay, I saw an eye. Okay, I see a C over there. Magic. Uh-huh. Magic. Wait, what? Magic. Oh, okay, magic circle, yes. Okay, okay. Where's the R at? Okay, there we go. Magic circle, we got it, we got it, okay. Uh-huh. Okay, I see an L there. I need an E. I need an E. Give me an E. Give me an E. Give me an E. Okay, there we go. There we go. The magic circle. Mm-hmm. You hear it. It's a thing I like here, man. That's it. God. The magic circle. They used the magic circle. Mm -hmm. Remember? The magic circle was drawn with salt. It sure the was. The culprit used the salt's texture to feel their way through the dark. Mm -hmm. I see it. So Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. You drew the magic circle with salt to use it as a guide. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. Oh, is it? What? Recall the document. Hmm. What did the magic circle look like? Um... Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. Mm-hmm. So what? When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, yes? Yes. The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it, yes? But you're but... talking about the magic circle in the document. Hmm. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. Oh? No, I most definitely drew it exactly the same. Mm -hmm. I have it perfectly memorized. Um, so which so. is it? Is there any way to check? Huh. Not anymore. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. Of course it is. I see another piece of the puzzle. Drawing the circle with salt, all but guaranteed it will be temporary. The investigation itself would have gotten rid of the evidence. Everyone, Clever. may I have your attention, please? Oh? Hmm. What a pain. We don't have any way to check it now. Uh, excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? Well, I guess there's no point in discussing the magic circle anymore. See, this is why he's on the list. This is why he's on the list, okay? This hey, right here. may I have your attention? Man, just cuss them out, okay? Cuss them out. Oh, I said cut that out. It's too bright. Yeah, okay, now y'all hear me. I I just wanted Jeez. everyone to listen to me. Thank you, Kibo. Sheesh. I had Mew add another function to my body, in addition to the flashlight. Oh? No way! Did you really... Did what? Did you really Stop. what? You can't! I didn't install it for that perp! What? Please, let me use it. With it, I might be able to save everyone. What is right, it? so... What is this function? Right. It's an image recording function. Oh. Image? So, recording? video camera. Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a printout of my own memory. Or photo camera. I'll give photo? it a try. Huh. So you can print out a photo of it? 
Oh, oh. This prints out as my memory of being kicked out of the seance. Mm. Please confirm that the floor of the empty room is clearly visible. Go on, mm. take the picture and see for yourself. Look at Kibo being an MVP. <sighs> okay. I love it. I reluctantly took the paper from Kyo Kibo's mouth. <laughs> so this is the magic circle used for the well, seance. Well, Shuichi, hmm. do you notice anything? Is there anything different? Notice anything. Huh. Let's see. Okay. Well, how am I supposed to know? What part of the magic circle is the most suspicious? Um, I don't know. I need to see the damn thing. I need to see the thing. So hold on. Is it this? I don't know. I I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't I don't remember the document. Can I see a side by side with the damn document? There. I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know how. This I don't helped know how. a lot, Kibo. Without you. I never would have seen through Kyo's lie. Mm -hmm. My lie. Oh? You just said that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. Mm -hmm. But that's a lie, isn't it? Mm. The magic circle at the scene had lines that stretched to the room's corners. Oh, which means true. that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. Right. You'd be able to trace it back. So it was uh -huh. different from the document after all. You'd be able to trace oh, it back. Oh, because Kimiko noticed. And because of Kibo, too. Thank you, give Kibo hey, where's my things? I'm the one who installed that function into Kibo. Uh-huh, while well, you go hey, top yeah. of it. yeah, what was it you were saying about its purpose? Huh, true. Oh, to be honest, the purpose of that image recording function is to monitor my health. Oh, really? Specifically, I make Kibo use that function every day to... Analyze my turds. Okay, you know what, Mew, you are you are just You're what? Filthy. Okay, what? you are just filthy. <laughs> Shit is a great indicator of intestinal health and gut bacteria quality. It is, but like Plus, why? Taking a satisfying shit does wonders for a woman's natural beauty, so Oh my see? god. See? You're all grossed out! This is why I didn't want to tell you about my plan! We're not grossed out because you're shitting. We're, we're grossed out because you're taking a picture of your said shit and asking someone to look at that said shit and confirm that it's good. Like, you could just shit in the toilet and then look at it. Why you gotta take a picture of it? Uh, I'm talking uh. about your poop. No one cares. Right. Kyo, you killed Tanko, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Just give up and admit it already. She ready to kill his ass. She ready to do it. So, Kyo, if you have any objections, you can... Your deductions are fiction. Oh, really? Really? Let's get into it then. Let's get into well, it. Well, since you've given me the option, I will most certainly object. Hmm. To be honest, it's unimportant, but it may be an amusing diversion. Hmm. Unimportant. Now I shall bear witness to your ability, Shuichi. Do entertain me. Oh. Oh, really? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's do it then. Let's do it. I'm, I'm for it. So let's go. Okay. Okay. If you are going to claim I am the culprit, mm -hmm. then what of the murder weapon? Uh huh. It was set up in the cage. Okay. The only people capable of that mm -hmm. are Kokuchi and Shuichi, who carry the cage. All of that. Okay. Wait. What the so hell? Suspicion okay. should fall on them. Okay. There we go. All right. Kyo's attitude is disconcerting, but first I need to counter his arguments. Hold on, hold on. God, why is then it never? Is the oh my God. Weapon? Okay, there we go. It God. Was set up okay. In the All the right, got that. Down. Let's get that. Bam. Our there we go. Yeah. So suspicion got that there. All right. All right, there we go. I'm like, come True, on, man. We Let's cut it. the sickle there, mm -hmm. but we could not have removed it later. Mm-hmm. Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. Right. That was Himiko. Right. The only mm -hmm. person who could have collected the sickle is Himiko. Hmm. But the only people who could have placed Ooh. the sickle are Kokichi and Shuichi. But in huh. regards to that dilemma, uh huh. I did not carry the cape, nor did I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. Uh, yes, you did. Yes, you did. You took uh, off. Cut you, for your you, words. Uh, you you handled the white sheet, so no, you placed the white sheet before. So don't even give me that. Don't even give me the that. The only Kyo. person who could have set up the sickle and retrieved it afterward is Kyo. Mm -hmm. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. Right. I remember you did it. 
I remember you did it. Uh-huh. You could have secretly placed the sickle when you draped the cloth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And retrieved it afterward when you when removed you the cloth. Yep. Then, while everyone was distracted, you, just dropped it in you a discreetly corner. dropped the sickle under the floor. Wonderful! That's huh? exactly correct. Oh, I think he's gonna cut me off like that? What? It's correct? Then why don't you give up already? Right. <laughs> I'm gonna fight his last breath. The trick breath. I put so much work into is just wasted effort now. Hmm. Alas. So, it was it you? It was you. You killed Tinkle? Mm-hmm. Let me guess. You'll never forgive me. Himiko, you must hate me so very much. Oh, I'm pretty sure she does. Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. No, she but wants to do it by her hands, for you, probably. that won't happen. Oh, why not? Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. Oh, why? What you talking about, Keo? Why? What are you talking about? <laughs> you still don't understand? Mm. I killed Tenko. That is the truth. But it is meaningless oh. in this class trial. Because of the rule, because of the rule that we have to figure out who the first kill was. Man. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh my I mean, god. Monokuma's extra rule, right? Yeah, we gotta figure out who the first kill was. That's right. What happens to your votes if there are two blackened candidates? Well, I have an answer for that. It's first come, first served. Yep. You see, I killed Tenko, but not Angie. Hmm. For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Because hmm. the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. Hmm. Trivial issue? No, that's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie too. That's what I was thinking. That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Hmm. Oh, only student council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. So who's the other one? How could I have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? You know what, I completely forgot you about Angie's death out. for a second. No one else could have done it besides you. If you're the one who killed Tenko, you gotta be the one who killed Angie. And it was the katana from his room. I understand so. how you feel, Himiko, but maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. Hmm. There is a non-zero possibility that Kiyo is telling the truth. Hmm. So you understand how she feels. I see. Wait, robots can understand human feelings? You know what? Oh, Kimo, of course I understand. Just get him I one day. Work really hard to understand. Just get him one day, Kibo. Hey, why are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. No, y'all keep coming for him. I'm no, 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 no. Y'all not gonna keep pushing somebody and pushing them, pushing them, pushing them. They get mad when he reacts. Stop, stop that shit. Oh my god. Enough! It's voting time. I'm gonna vote for him. I'm gonna vote for his ass too. <laughs> voting for me will only help the one who murdered Angie. Hmm. Isn't Kyo culprit? Of course I'm not. This case was an error on my part. Hmm. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? Yeah. How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? True. Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. You're lying! You killed Tenko and Angie! I don't now, know who on. killed Angie. Jumping to conclusions don't. here is dangerous. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We should talk it out more. This case might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen. Are you the other killer? Not to that. I don't know. Any way you look at this case, Keo is obviously the culprit. Hmm. Yeah, there's sort of no other way to look at it. Hmm. No, it's too dangerous to vote before we arrive at a logical decision. I don't know, y'all. I don't know who is. One of you. Oh, wee! This argument is getting intense. Like this. Oh, the split, the split the thing. Academy is yeah. proud to present its very own oh, right. more phenomenal trial round. Okay, we get it. We got that. Yippee! I've been waiting for this. Of course you have. Why weren't you have. waiting for it? Kyo confessed to killing Tenko, but insists he didn't kill Angie. We won't forgive Kyo for what he did. We but can't vote until we know the facts. I have to pin down the evidence to convince everyone. Okay, y'all. Oh, Lord. Split opinion time. Let's go ahead and transform these grounds. Man, uh, Kokichi was probably looking forward to it because he likes starting drama. So this is probably what he was waiting for to make things more interesting. Most likely. Mm. There are so many dead faces that are going up in this little spiral. It's kind of sad. Mm. All right, let's go. Let's do this. 
Let's do this correctly this time, Jess. I kind of folded each time I did this. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. He killed Tinko and Angie. Hmm. I got this. Okay. But he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. Hmm. He forced oh, his oh. way into Angie's research lab and killed her. Hmm. Kyo. Anyone could that? have entered my lab. Uh -huh. The katana no? was found in Kyo's lab. Hmm. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he's not blackened? Hmm. He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself all along. Hmm. We solved the mystery of Tanko's death. Can't we just vote now? Huh. Okay. Kyo's confession was shocking, but we can't be certain he's the blackened. We need to match up our ideas and persuade them all along. Okay, so that's Tinko what I was trying to do. Angie. Okay, so th that. We don't know okay. for certain that Kyo killed Angie. Okay, there we go. So not, not Angie. Okay, there we go. forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her. I got uh -huh. this, but he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. Uh-huh. The katana okay, there was found in Kyo's lab. Okay, Kyo. there we go. There Anyone we go. Could have entered okay, we my matched lab. it up right this time. I had it wrong the first time. So Kyo did kill Tango, but he's uh -huh. not blackened? Uh -huh. Kokichi, perhaps there's a second blackened we need to find. Uh-huh. He's planning to use the new rule to protect him. Kyo! Mm -hmm. Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. True. We solved the mystery. I got this. Okay, and there not we go. Yet. There's still another mystery to solve. There we go. Man, I mean, there was two answers for the first one. It could have been even one. That's why I got it wrong. Okay, oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh, yes, there we go. Full counter. <laughs> oh, seven deadly sins. It would be a mistake to vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. Mm -hmm. And there's still the mystery of Tenko's murder. Right. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Hmm. Well, Kyo's confession derailed our conversation a bit. Yes, it did. But we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tanko's crime scene. I believe hmm. it might even have something to do with Angie's murder. Yes, the outlying piece of evidence at Tanko's murder scene. Huh. At Tanko's murder scene. That? This is it! Okay, yes, I'm like, the dried blood? Nobody, nobody talked about it. The blood stain found under the floor. Hmm. Maki and I found it during the investigation. Mm -hmm. It was beneath the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. Right. Is that Tanko's blood? No. The blood stain was too far from Tanko's corpse to have been hers. Mm -hmm. Also, the blood stain was already dry when we found it. We did neglect that. the blood from that, Tanko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Huh. I don't even well, know with that weird. one, honestly. Why was that blood stain the only dry one? I have no idea. The blood stain under the floorboard was dry because... Uh, what? I don't know! Okay, it happened before the air was dry. It was from the investigation. It happened before the sound? That's it! Okay, there we go. They mean, they, they saw it and it makes the me think that I'm wrong. The blood stain wasn't okay. from Tanko's murder. Hmm. It was there before we started the seance. Mm -hmm. Before the seance? That should make it clear whose blood it was. The blood stain before the seance, it has to be them. Angie? That's it! What the fuck? How? 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 That blood stain wasn't Tanko's. It was Angie's. What the hell? Why was blood from Angie at the scene of Tanko's murder? Right! Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? Just because we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. What? Oh, I guess that's possible. Oh my god. If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot more possibilities. What the we fuck? assumed what? that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. Hmm. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect just the council members anymore. Now we get everybody. So now we suspect didn't everyone. enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I'm not sure if the culprit waited huh. for her. But they probably killed her when she came out. Well, what? I thought that was more likely from the start. So I went to places Angie might have gone and checked mm. all three empty rooms. Places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? Why? Hey, the empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. Did mm. Angie have business in rooms? Right. 
It seems Kokichi's up to his usual misleading nonsense again. Nah, he probably is right about you too. He's probably right. You probably killed Angie too. You probably did both of them because now you're saying that Kokichi's misleading people. I don't know. <laughs> I do lie a lot. And I could be lying right now too. But he's not. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. Right. Uh huh, Kyo. Angie left her lab on her own and headed to the room where she was killed. Is Kokichi's statement true or? Huh. Cause Pio looking kinda, he kinda shook a little bit. Hmm. The art research lab is not where Angie was killed. Mm -hmm. She was killed in the empty room instead. She left her lab on her own? But huh. why would she go into an empty room? There shouldn't have been anything in there. Huh. Except for candles. That's it. She wanted a candle. No. No, Keep baby. Keep herself awake at night. No, baby. She would drip hot wax on her body. Only you. That sounds only like you. something only you would do, Mew. Right. Thank you. Come on now. Okay. What did Kokichi see? Let's go ahead and fast forward that. She did have the book. But why would she go into an empty room? Hmm. Not that. Okay. That right there. There we go. Hey! There we go. Based on the book. So, yes. That's it. Angie went to that room to get a candle. Hmm. Yeah. Her kinky wax play. No, baby. Not that. Uh, not no. that. Angie right. was going to use it for the ritual. Mm -hmm. According to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After preparing the effigy, burn his Necronomicon to ashes. Yep. So we need fire. We need fire um, did candle. she seek out a candle so she could burn the book? Mm -hmm. That's right. There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. Right. So she went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms. And mm -hmm. that's when the culprit attacked her. Wow. Wow. Huh. That's why there was dried blood under floor. Wow. And then they carried her dead body to her Which room. Which means Angie was attacked in the same room the seance was held. They did a Bravo, kill. Himiko. They did a well done kill. for choosing that room for the seance. Mm. Mm. If we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. True. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboards. Mm. That's right. Shuichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Right, we didn't check the yep. other room. It's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. Okay, there this you go. Must there you be two as well. Or maybe the power of magic. It's gonna be magic. It's neither. I'll just pick one. Oh, really? Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. Oh, because it's you, bitch. You claim Come Angie on. was murdered in the empty room and then moved to the lab? Yes. Yes. Then how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? It may mm. be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. That's true. I think she was still alive after the attack in the empty room. Hmm. Hmm. She was killed after she was carried to her lab. Hmm. That means the culprit attacked her twice. I have evidence of that. What? That? This is it. Okay, there we go. There we go. I was about to say. <laughs> the fatal so wound confused. was a cut to the back of her neck from a katana. Mm -hmm. But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma. Mm -hmm. And I think I know why. Mm -hmm. After Angie was knocked unconscious in the empty room, she was killed in, she her, was lab. Killed in her lab. From that spinning blade, maybe. Huh. I see. So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow. Mm -hmm. ha. It's all clear now. Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab, and right. it was there that the culprit finished her off. Huh. Oh, Lily, I'm all shook. This is all clear. Oh. <laughs> there go the window. What are you all talking about? Hmm. All clear. What is all clear? Oh yeah, you definitely did it. You get what mad. What is? What are you? All clear? Oh yeah, you were mad, huh? Wh what are? You all, you. Are you, you not what? functioning? What? What are? I will not fear. I will oh. not back down. Oh, hold on. He turned beautiful for a second. Man, not. Oh Sweet wait. Oh. oh. Calm yourself. Oh, he took down his. Huh. Them took down their mask. 
Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. Oh my god, what? You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. What? <laughs> yes, you're right. Okay, I'll teach them. Does he have split personalities? What the hell are you mumbling about? Right! You're giving me the goddamn willies! Was that split personality right there? Not yet. Nothing is clear at all. Mm. It's full of doubts! Of mysteries! Of a dense, impenetrable fog! Oh my god. Nothing is clear at all! Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess we have to do this again. All right. All right, all righty. Let's just cut his statements up. Cut them statements up. It don't even matter. Okay. Angie was Come attacked on. in the empty room first. Mm -hmm. And then carried into the research lab. I don't even want to hear it. Impossible. It's impossible. That's nope. nothing but an illusion. I don't want to hear that. Poison our minds with your delusions? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's no delusion. Right. Angie's two external wounds tell the story. Thank you. After she was struck in the empty room, mm -hmm. she was carried to the art research lab and then killed. And then killed. Right. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? Uh, yep, and not maybe. a single drop of blood fell. The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Huh. Even Hold if on. you wiped them down later. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. Okay, 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 I messed up, I messed up. Okay, I did it too fast, I did it too fast, I did it too fast. I made a mistake, made a you mistake. You say the culprit right. carried Angie's body? Okay, And not okay, a single not drop of blood fell. Let's the hallway go. and empty room had no blood stains. Hmm. Even if you wiped them down later. There'd mm. still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? Oh. Okay. Hold on. The culprit carried Angie in such a way that wouldn't leave any blood behind. I'm sure there's a clue to the scene that proves it. Hold on. The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Hold on. Even if you wipe them down later, there'd still mm -hmm. be traces of evidence left behind. But there was mm -hmm. no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? Uh-huh. Oh, yes, there was. Your yes, there was. Okay? Come on, killer. Killer Keo. There was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, he was wrapped about around that. her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Mm -hmm. Bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. Yep. It was under the body. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. Mm -hmm. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice didn't and failed it. to dispose of it. Right. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. Hmm. Must have been Atua who did that for us. Aww, poor Angie. She didn't what? deserve this. Atua? Hmm? How long are you going to keep that up? Are you getting mad? Now we know most of the mystery behind Angie's murder. Hmm. I'm convinced there's only one person who could have killed Angie. Theo, come on now. Like I said, I thought it was the same person the whole time. Come on. Your ass. Let's go, it man. You're the only one you. shook by this. You're the only one shook. Let's go, man. It's you, Keo. You killed Angie. Like I said, man. <laughs> man, I it's crazy because I guessed that he killed. I guess two things. I killed one. I mean, oops, I guessed one that the same killer did both of them. But I was wrong about how they did it. And then I guess it might have been Keo, but I was wrong about how he did that too. So I still got it. Though. What the fuck? So it's true. <laughs> well, that was obvious. Such a boring, obvious answer. Mm, obvious to you? Killed both of them. Mm-hmm. Why did you kill them? In mm. terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. Right. Why? He had to go above and beyond. Why you killed them both? Right. I think one of the murders was an accident. Mm. An accident? An accident? That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. Mm. Huh? Which one? Which one? Tenko's? The murder that was an accident was that's it okay i'm like huh huh <laughs> angie's murder was an accident hmm. what tanko wasn't accident that's hmm. right he originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick right but while he was making preparations in the empty room, oh. Angie walked in. And witnessed him doing that. Huh. So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from talking. To silence her. Hmm. Wait, isn't this kind of similar? happened to walk in on the culprit setting up. Isn't this kind of similar to the second? Is it the second game? The, or the first one? 
this the first or second? Is this is this kind of similar to the second one where they killed one of the students because they were going to be a witness to? Like, isn't that isn't that a case too? Oh my god! Then you should have just stopped there. Hmm. He killed Angie. There was no reason for him to kill Tinko. Nah, yeah. Carry out that you plan. You only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. Make it go faster. That's if what you get said. bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Hmm. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? Get it done faster, maybe. What is it? What on earth are you talking about? Huh. No. I'm not the culprit. Mm -hmm. So, why is everyone looking at me like I am? Oh! Why, why are they? Why is it? Oh, hold on. Okay, maybe, maybe his other side did it, and he did Tenko. Calm yourself, Karekio. Uh-huh. Yep. Yes. Yep, okay. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. Okay, so so this is like a genocide jack thing, like where, well, on, in his case, both both sides of him are killer, but one, this one killed Angie, and the other one killed Tenko. Okay. You mustn't lose composure. Mm. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. Hmm. Look at their horrid oh. faces. So that smile. Sorry, smart. lot is not worth agonizing over. Hmm. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Oh there my he God! Goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? Y'all don't see what's happening? It almost seems like he's talking with someone. Yes, he is. Someone. He's just talking to himself. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? Split personality. Split. No matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. I mm -mm. never acknowledge your allegations. Not a single one of them. Oh so my see, God! There is no evidence that I killed Angie. Oh man. No, I will not acknowledge it. They really be dragging me. I will these only acknowledge trials. facts, true events. I won't acknowledge fiction, mystery. Hmm. I won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. Huh. Well said. Good job, Koreki. Like, see, why aren't we talking yes. to that one? Thanks. Uh-uh. <laughs> Creeps me the fuck out! I, I know, I know. No evidence. There's no evidence that he killed You're Angie. Wrong. There is evidence. Mm -hmm. What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, yes. Oh. The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Keo. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not oh? possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Oh, really? Apologize. Come on, apologize. For what? Apologize. 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 Oh, you going crazy. He's overloaded. Apologize. 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 Mm -mm. No. Seriously? No. What the hell's happening? Right. I don't know. I have no idea what's happening with you. But I know what weapon he used to kill on Angie. I have to prove it to him. So, oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Ah, oh, man. Always missed the... Yes. Jesus, I'm Lord. Cool. Okay. So I have nothing uh, to confess. Uh, there we go. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. I have nothing uh, to admit. There we go. Okay. You are uh, simply uh, wrong. Uh. There we go. Ooh, 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 yes. ooh. I'm not the culprit. All right. So uh, I have nothing uh, to confess. Uh. Okay, I'm getting it now. Okay. I have nothing to admit. Just took me three class trials. Okay. You are simply uh, uh. There we go. Why must you force your delusions okay. on us? Ooh, 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 there we go. It's merely there a delusion. Uh, 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 well, uh, uh, correct, uh, uh, to shit. continue uh, this debate uh, uh, is meaningless. Uh, 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 Okay. It's merely a delusion. Uh, 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 uh. Shit. To continue this debate is meaningless. Okay. Oh, oh shit, shit. Okay. Ah, 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 That's merely a delusion. Boom. Okay, there we go. I told you okay. I am not okay. the culprit. So why are you Ooh. looking at me like that? Ooh. You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio <laughs> speaks the truth. Oh, I'm not doing that. Lot. Oh, <laughs> Apologize. Ah, 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 ah. Oh shit! Apologize. Oh my God! That's like I have to look everywhere. Not the culprit. 
So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong. Not me. Arepio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Here we go. Apologize. Okay. Apologize. Okay, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. I told you I am not the culprit. I don't care what you're saying. Why are you I don't looking care. at me like that? I don't care what you're all saying. wrong. Not me. Uh, uh. Correcchio speaks the truth. Okay, boom, Such boom. A sorry lot. Ooh. There we go. Apologize. Okay. Uh, Apologize. Uh, uh, shit. Apologize. Okay. Oh, shit. Ah. I told you I am not okay. the culprit. Okay, there we go. There we go, the final blow. Jesus you Christ. You have no proof okay. that Correcchio is the killer. Remove floorboard. There we go. It ends here. There we go. There we go. Ah. Okay, you remove the floorboard. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Keo hit Angie with the same floorboard used in the seesaw trick. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh, we hit a nerd. And how do you know the floorboard was the murder weapon? There was a small patch of dried blood on the underside of the floorboard. There sure Angie's was. Blood? There sure blood was. Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. Damn, he knocked her ass but out. That's think not about the it only now. evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. <sighs> There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. <sighs> For that to be there, the floorboard must not have been in place at the time True. of the attack. It had to be Good lifted. Point. Had the floorboard been in place, mm -hmm. her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. Right. Yeah, these are some professional Kyo's killers uh, that write this game. is <laughs> further evidence that the floorboard was used. Hmm. How? If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick, mm -hmm. it means the culprit knew about the seesaw. Right. So the, so same, the same person, person killed Tenko and Angie. See, I thought the same person killed both of them because it was like both in the same spot that the fatal blow was. That's why I thought it was the same person. Oh. Yeah. Yep, you're caught. You're caught, okay? Look at him, knocked her I ass out. I believe that out. while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was mm. when Angie walked in. Mm. And he cold cocked her with a floorboard. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, he must have hit her hard. Damn. All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Exactly. Truth. This is the truth. Use your magic on this girl. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Looks like we're almost at the end. Yep. All right, <laughs> Chichi, I'll leave the finale to you. Bring down the house. All right. Put an end to this. Yes, since I'm the only For one that can. Tanko's sake. End this class trial. I sure I will. I'll I'll go sure over will. everything one more time. Let's go. Here. Let's go. I want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. Okay, I like it. I like this new Shuichi. I love it. Okay, let's do this. All right, so who's the culprit with the saw in the empty room? Okay, it was definitely... Hold on. Okay, wait. What is that? Okay, the small stone. Okay, let's, let's see what we have. Okay, so we have the duct tape. Remove the gold, gold leaf. Okay, okay. All right, all right. So, let's look at... Huh... Let's see, what is this? What was compressing the injury? Okay, it was that. There we go, okay. That's compressing the injury, okay. And what is this? What weapon killed Angie? It was, not that, not that, okay. Okay, not that, okay. Whose effigy was stabbed with the katana? Okay, that was definitely Kaede, okay. The handle of the spinning katana, hit that, here we go. There we go, the handle of that, there we go. Okay, and then when Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door? Okay, we don't have the answer for that either. Okay, hold on, hold on, let's go back to the beginning then, because I just got removed from the floorboard. Okay. Okay, that, the panel. There we go, there we go, we got the floorboard. Okay, wait, was there something else there? Wait, no, I just gotta, I just gotta answer something else. Okay, hold on, okay. What weapon killed Angie? Um. No, not that. Wait. What the hell? Okay, hold on. Oh, it says what was that? Did it say what was stabbed? Hold on. Let's see. What object did Tenko rest her forehead on? Okay, it was the marker. There, there we go. It was that. Okay. 
Then this, what weapon did the culprit set up on the iron cage? It was the sickle, but we don't have that yet. Okay, okay, who besides Rikichi was responsible for extinguishing the candles? Me, but how was the culprit able to move around in the darkness? They were touching that salt. There we go. The path made with salt. There we go. Okay, when the culprit approached the cage, they went ahead and with the sickle placed there. Oh shit, no. Hold on. How did the magic circle get erased? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not that one. Okay, there we go. The sickle placed to kill, there we go. All right, so got that. And then when Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door? That's not the answer. Let's see. Whose FG was stabbed with the katana? It was Kaede's. But, okay. That one. There we go. Okay, now we can get all everything else. Now we can get everything else here. Good. Getting more answers here. Okay. So let's see. Um, Not that. Okay, that one goes to here. Shuichi. All right, got that. Okay, so we got that answered. Okay. When the culprit approached the cage. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Hold on. What is this? Footsteps contaminating the scene. Let me see. Huh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's back it up. Let's back it up to Kayede, which is right there. Bam. There we go. Let's get that one. Okay, cut the cross piece. So let's see, who was the culprit, who was the culprit with, wait what? Who was the culprit with the saw in the, what? What? Hold on. That didn't make sense right there, I, that didn't make sense. I, that's why I was confused, okay. All right, that didn't, did not make sense. All right, when Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door? It was Kokichi. There we go. All right. And then when the culprit approached the cage, they, hold on. And what about this? How did the magic circle get erased when everybody was contaminating it? Yep, there we go. And then hit that one with this one. There we go. This the wording the on some of these got me confused. <laughs> Let's look back at the first murder. It mm -hmm. was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. Yep. The culprit was preparing the seance murder they had planned. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Just carefully, just to taking their the time. To use the floorboard as a seesaw, they had to cut the cross piece supporting it. The mm -hmm. plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. So it this didn't matter which suspicion one they away from the culprit and whoever picked a room. Mm -hmm. To away. cut the cross pieces, they needed a saw. Hmm. I imagine they got one from the warehouse. Mm -hmm. They were planning to cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. Yep, so it didn't matter. And poor Angie, she was just so innocent. Oh, poor However, baby. when the culprit was working on the middle room, the mm -hmm. unexpected happened. She just came in so innocently and saw what they were doing. Angie walked into that room and saw mm. the culprit making their preparations. So he had she a needed whacker. some fire for the ritual and had gone to the room for a candle. Mm. And she's At like, what are you point, doing? The culprit had not finished the setup and was just cutting cross pieces. Angie mm -hmm. might not have concluded that it was tied to some kind of murder plan. It, I but would have. I would have been like, what are you doing? It, the culprit couldn't use the seesaw trick. Any mm -hmm. other person might have just given up, but not our culprit. Not at all. Hmm. Uh-oh, poor Angie. Poor Angie. Oh. The Got culprit smacked. took the floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie in the Hmm. Poor Angie. Look at her. Oh, she didn't she didn't deserve that. And then that dripped down to the bottom. The culprit did mm -hmm. not want to give up on their plan and had to improvise. Mm-hmm. All right, act two. They, they try to cover up her head wound. Angie's injury to stop the bleeding. Mm. Then they picked up her unconscious body and carried her to a research lab. Yep. 
and did this all at night so that nobody would see it. They need guards at night. I don't know. They need guards. <laughs> While she was unconscious, the culprit hurried to tie up this loose end. Hmm. Mm hmm And that fell down. But because they were in a hurry, they made a crucial oversight. They didn't mm -hmm. notice the duct tape had peeled off and was under Angie's body. Yep. Without that evidence, we may never have figured out the culprit's trick. I already knew it was I mean, come on. Like, come on. <laughs> Carrying the supplies they needed, the culprit returned to the ultimate art lab. Hmm. They did a lot of walking. They really Locked did. The front to go door to the from warehouse inside. and go all the way up to the fourth floor and everything. It's a lot. And mm. took out the katana they brought from their own lap. Mm -hmm. Poor Angie. Yeet. He then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck, finally killing her. My goodness. Then, to further confuse us, mm -hmm. the culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. It surely First, confused they me. They used rope surely from the did. warehouse and hung four effigies upside down. There were two reasons for this. Mm. To overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere, and the other and to was the key it. to locking the room. Mm. The culprit stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the rear entrance. And spun her ass around. I wouldn't even think of that, honestly. I would not. I don't know. And how spun the effigy around to twist it. up the rope. Mm -hmm. Goodness. After enough turns, the culprit let go and headed for the rear door. Mm. And then it just spun and hit it. Hmm. Wow. Once released, the effigy began spinning and the gold leaf katana with it. Mm. And hit that. The handle of the katana then hit the sliding lock. Lo a difficult trick, hmm. but remember that the lock was so loose it moved at the slightest touch. It sure the did. culprit also would have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. Hmm. Once complete, the door was locked, mm -hmm. but the duct tape was left behind. The damning Perhaps the evidence. culprit noticed it, but by that point, it was too late. The room was sealed. There was no way for them to get back inside. Right, until the body was found. Since the lock. Then, mm -hmm. this morning, we opened up the room and discovered Angie's body. We sure did. Mm. Poor, but the Angie's culprit so wasn't finished. They wanted one more murder. They wasn't. They wasn't done yet. <laughs> to do that, they manipulated us into performing this seance. Mm. Made it his idea to perform a seance so he can go ahead and get that kill off. Man, of goodness. the three empty rooms, the middle one was chosen for the seance. You serious? I killer? was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's place in the seance. Hmm. Tenko volunteered to be the medium, but she never imagined it would get her killed. I to know. perform the seance, the culprit claimed they needed something for Tenko. And you know what's sad about this? It's like Tenko gave her life. For this a girl. small stone that he brought from the courtyard. Man, because Himiko was gonna go underneath there, but Tenko was like, "No, let me do it." And Tenko, you know, she sacrificed the herself request, unknowingly. Bowed Himiko. her head until it was touching the stone. Mm. That position was instrumental in making sure the murder went as planned. Mm. Next, Poor Kikichi Tenko. and I placed the iron cage I over Tenko would die in there the middle too. of the magic circle. The culprit then volunteered to drape the white cloth over the iron cage. Mm. We didn't realize it at the time, but that was a deliberate decision by the culprit. Of course it was. Of course. Huh. I needed to set I'm up the sorry, murder like weapon L that was right used there. to kill Tempo. <laughs> mm. While they were covering the cage with a cloth, they secretly placed the sickle. Mm. There you go, and I like you. Four of you. us placed the wooden statue on top of the cage. Mm -hmm. 
not knowing that we were placing it and holding that sickle The culprit there. used the weight of the statue to keep the murder weapon in place. Mm-hmm. We had no idea. Mm. After the preparations were complete, we began the seance. And then he used that salt to guide him. Hmm. Then once the lights were out, you in just sing your darkness, way. We each stood in one corner mm. and sang the cage child song. And you just kept going and followed the salt while you was making your kill. Mm -hmm. When the song finished, the soul of the dead was supposed to enter the medium, but our culprit had another plan. Yep. To commit a murder in the darkness. And then act all surprised by the seance then work. You clever bitch. Right mm. after we started singing, the culprit began making their way toward Tenko. It would have been quite difficult to do in total darkness, but our culprit had a guy. Which was assault. They used the lines of the magic circle drawn with salt. The culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along. All this premeditated murder. <laughs> and in when the culprit game. reached the center of the circle, they found the floorboard that had its cross piece cut off the night before. Mm -hmm. Then lifted up their foot that <laughs> and stomped down hard on the floorboard. I'm sorry, the way they have them animated just makes it look so funny. The floorboard and lifted up like a ass. seesaw mm. and pushed Tenko's body up toward the ceiling of the cage. Mm. Tenko was stabbed in the back of the neck by the sickle on the top of the cage. And Tenko didn't she deserve this either. Right Neither of them eyes, did. And we didn't even see it. Yep. Mm. After and committing then got the right crime, back. the culprit followed the salt back to their corner. Mm -mm -mm. Looking like he did it. Like he came up with something finished the ritual and had us light the candles. We followed the culprit's directions and removed the equipment used for the seance. Mm. Poor, oh, and discovered look, poor Tenko's Tenko. body. Mm. Oh, and dropping that in the back. And while we were all focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle mm -hmm. and dropped it under the floor through the hole in the corner of the room. I don't know why I thought that sickle was bigger. I don't know why I did. Ironically, the final step of the murder was unwittingly carried out by us. Yeah, we messed the up the circle. The culprit had planned the murder so that we would unintentionally destroy some evidence. I mean, it'd be that easy to. It's just was the magic circle that the culprit used to navigate in the dark. Mm-hmm. See, he a whole professional out here. Look at him. Look at him. However, Got two bodies. The culprit didn't Scoop know that up. Kibo had taken a picture. He mm -hmm. really saved us. Without that, we wouldn't know what changes were made to the circle. So let's start treating Kibo right. How about that? How about that? But now okay. we know for certain. Sheesh. And we know the culprit drew the magic circle. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's you, Uranus. You Correct, kill. Yoshin Guji, the ultimate anthropologist. You're the culprit behind these murders. Mm. And to think, I thought that we were gonna be here this whole time. Everybody that keeps saying we here, we we not. That's everybody. where my detective work leads us. It all fits. Hmm. <laughs> oh? Sweet Correcchio. There were times when it's necessary to admit defeat. Oh? Uh, admit? Yes, admit. Admit it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So you finally admit you did it. Right. Unfortunately. Yes. Thank you. Yes. It's unfortunate. Hmm. Very, very unfortunate. For you. My one For regret. You. My only regret is... is not being able to make 100 friends. What? 100 friends? What are you talking about? It was my dream to make 100 friends. Oh, it's so unfortunate. I was so close to 100. What are you Comment, talking what? about? Where is this coming from? I do from? not understand a word of this. Right. Who gives a fuck? Let's <laughs> vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already. Yes, let's let's vote. Roger that. One voting time. I'm like, let's get it. Let's go. Uh -huh. Like, Racing come on. Excitement as... Ha! Oh? Oh? The heart-racing excitement! 
has a black end and a spotless finally face off. Mm -hmm. It's voting time! I wonder if anybody's gonna be petty and vote for me again. <laughs> Monodam's gonna kill Red. Monodam is gonna kill Red. Red is gonna be the next one to die in this punishment. All right, let's go ahead and vote you. There we go. There we go. I don't even know why they give us a time limit on this, as if we don't already know. Now then, it seems the voting has finished. Let's see the result. Who's gonna be petty and vote me? Keo. Is Keo gonna vote me because he's mad? Hmm. Let's see, it better be unanimous. It better be. It better be unanimous. Okay, there we go. There we go, okay. All right, all right. Karumi was the only one that was petty last time and voted for me. <laughs> We got her ass. Who'll be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice hmm. or the dreadfully wrong one? Nope, we got it right. Let's go. And the verdict is Killer Kill snatching up two bodies. My God. Oh my goodness. This is a whole serial killer out here. My God. To think we were here. Mm-mm, mm-mm. All right, there we go. Let's see what I got. I didn't think I did too good in this one, I don't know. Or maybe I did. Oh, I probably did do good, okay. Okay, I did I did miss some, I did miss some points because I was, I, was, I was messing up. <laughs> Seriously, you're correct again, amazing. This is the third correct verdict right. in a row. If you manage to get 12 correct verdicts in a row, you proceed to the bonus round. How's that gonna last this long? So no. <laughs> it's finally no. over. No, not yet. I haven't heard his answer yet. Kia, why? Why did you kill Angie and Tenko? Right. Yeah, he no need to kill them both, no matter what motive oh. he have. Motive? <gasps> did your motive have something to do with the transfer student who was resurrected? Even if it did, though, how did that trigger a murder? Hey. Don't tell me. Were you actually scared of the resurrection ritual, Kaito? Shut up! Shut up! I never said I was scared. <laughs> the resurrection ritual had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do Bye. with it. Because we're friends, I'll tell you. I never once believed in the ritual. I would never kill someone over such a silly thing what? as that. So it has nothing to do with the motive? Yeah. Then why? Yes. For the one that I love. There is someone, there is someone that I love. Oh, the one that's underneath your mask? From the bottom of my heart, someone so dear, someone I long for. Is it the one underneath your mask? I oh? love her with all my heart. And she loves me with all her heart. Okay, we are seeing cake. Okay, yes, we are seeing all we cake. An endless love to each other, forever bound by fate. Huh. None can come between us. We are bound by an intense love. Okay. No matter what anyone says. This is what I'm speechless. <laughs> Bragging about your perfect love life? Fuck you. Some of us aren't that lucky. <laughs> So to see this lover of yours, you had Don't to escape. That's why you killed Angie and Tenko, but why did you need to kill them both? If you asked if I did it to escape this place, my answer would be no. Wonderful. Because I have no need to escape this place. The one I love is inside. Inside? Wait! Don't look at me, I'm not his lover. <laughs> Calm down, no one would want a disgusting shit stuff bitch like you anyway. Okay. You need to chill out. You need to chill out on me. Exploosh! What? What the fuck? Uh. Kyo, who is it? Who's this person you love? Is it really one of us? <laughs> when I say inside, I do I do not mean inside this academy. I mean inside me. Sister. Yes, the one I love lives inside me, my dear sister. What the hell? <gasps> okay, sister. Wait, don't look at me. I'm not his right? sister. Well, duh. If you were his sister, you would have killed him Wait. already. Your sister? But didn't you say she was your Whatever lover? Is the matter. It is not that difficult. My sister is my lover. Yeah. I loved her so deeply, and she loved me so deeply. Oh, we get into something that else. Siblings meant nothing to us. Oh, uh, incest. Okay, now we get into incest. They yeah. It forbidden love, but none could stop the love we shared. Oh, uh. how I long for my sister's warmth. Oh, uh. the only time I felt at peace was when I was enveloped in my sister's warmth. See, nah, I would never with my brother. That's disgusting. For my beloved oh. sister. Oh, that is why for my beloved sister I had to. You had to escape from here, right? No, I had to kill her. Huh? What? Sister. sister was very sickly. She was always in and out of the hospital ever since she was a child. Because of that, she didn't have many friends. She seemed 
always seemed so However, lonely. Even if I could be her little brother and her lover, I couldn't be her friend. So I thought I'd find her some friends, friends for my dear deceased sister. Huh? Deceased? Do you understand? My sister is now a ghost, so her friends should be ghosts too, right? For my beloved for sister's sister. Sake, I've killed many to send her 100. So he, so basically. To apply to be a friend, you gotta be dead. You gotta be killed. So he's killed almost 100 people. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> they were all wonderful people, worthy of being sisters' huh? friends. What? Incomprehensible. This is too impossible to understand. Too impossible. Sister. Sister's very yes. happy. Yes, Corey Keo. I'm very happy. Thanks to you, I'm not lonely. What? Could it be that the lipstick version of Keo is? I am older I'm... sister. Oh, thank you for looking after my little brother. What? What the hell? After I lost my beloved sister, I was so distraught, I nearly went mad, but sister came to see me. I am me. pleased. She visited me during one of my seances and stayed inside me. Sister. Now I can see her whenever I want. I'm never happy. That's wonderful, Corey Keo. And your love made the impossible possible. Okay, so he doesn't have split personality. He has a ghost in him. Okay, all right. I got it, I got it. Are you it. serious? Are you serious? Is this really a spirit? I told you. He's just delusional. <laughs> hmm, what a sad girl that can't even believe in the power of love. Uh, uh, she's like, do you want to die? Well, Either way, he's totally out of his mind. I mean, he killed for a dead chick. Well, you, know. you said you killed a lot already, right? So it wasn't just the two you killed what here. Was that? What? <laughs> Seems like he was already crazy before he got here. You didn't kill to escape from here. That wasn't your purpose from the get-go. <laughs> you just wanted to slaughter a bunch, Unacceptable. huh? Do not make me out to be some bloodthirsty, indiscriminate killer. I only kill girls who I think are worthy of being sister's friends. Huh? Only girls, okay. So we had Genocide Jack that only killed men. And now we have Killer Core Keo that only kills women. Match made in heaven, okay. I see, so when we were deciding on who should be the medium, before that it's just a spiritual medium, it would work best with a girl because he wanted to kill a girl, wow. Uh, um, you said it would work best, best with a girl. <laughs> I spent my time evaluating all the wonderful. girls here. And besides Maki and Mew, they were all worth, oh, besides Maki and Mew? All worthy of being sister's mm -hmm. friends. All worthy. Why you? Hey, how come I'm not included? I mean, not like I care. Mm -hmm. Then the second victim could have been me. Uh, Tenko died in place of me. That's what makes it sad. That's what makes it really sad because Tenko loved her so much that she would do anything for this girl. But she unknowingly sacrificed herself for her as well. That is just so sad. Then I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. No, I will do it. Excellent. Himiko would have been great, but Tenko volunteering made me so happy. Her noble, earnest heart made her a perfect friend for Wonderful. sister. She even infiltrated the student council to protect huh? Himiko. Huh? Infiltrate, what? really? But how did you... It was obvious to me. I've studied many uh, people. Yes, yeah, she MSP. stood up against the darkness of the school all by herself. All for her Beautiful. beloved friend. I was so touched by that. Wonderful. She was a perfect friend for sister. <laughs> I can't understand why you didn't like her, Himiko. Aww. Though I was planning on having you become sister's friend too, eventually. No way! What? You do all that for... Mm. Wow, you did that just to kill. For you to go that far, that's pretty impressive. You were interested in the caged child just so you could use it to kill Let's someone, see. right? It interested me as an anthropologist, of course, but more... For my beloved sister! I wanted sister. to kill my sister. I couldn't deny that overpowering feeling. Are you okay? Mm. Kaito, are you okay? You look kind of pale. Oh. Don't worry about it. Let's focus on Kyo right now. He's like, look, Kyo got a ghost in him, all right? <laughs> Allow me to explain, though. I did not plan to kill both of them. I knew I would have plenty of chances after escaping this However. place, but Angie walked in on me preparing, and I ended up killing her a different way. So I figured I may as well kill someone else, too. <laughs> after all, it would be a shame to just waste the seance trick what I prepared. You're talking like you killed her just because you could. No, not just because I could. I was sending another friend to you. Corey Keo, you're such a thoughtful little brother, but it was bad to get greedy. Oh, dear. You're right. Because of that, now I can't send 100 friends to sister. <laughs> do you understand now? Those were the circumstances of Corey Keo's crime. <laughs> I do not understand. This is all too impossible for me to understand. Why? That right. Killing two friends for your dead sister. How? That wrong. That's so wrong. <laughs> oh, don't get so worked up. There's something I learned after sister's do death. Death only changes the person's form. The soul lives on as a ghost. That's right. That's right. Even though I'm a ghost now, I'm always by Kira Pill's sister. side. Sister. Thank you, sister. I love yeah. you. Cut it out already. What right. Is that? I don't understand anything you're saying. Nothing's making sense. It's not fair. Why did Angie and Tanko have to die for something so unfair? Well. Because death is unfair. Yeah. 
<laughs> All deaths are unfair deaths. Why do you think news stations get such high ratings when they're reporting about death? Because everyone likes unfair deaths. Maybe. Well, if you look at it like that, this whole killing game embodies that philosophy, right? Gifted high school students forced to play kill. <laughs> Man, if people were watching this, they would get a kick out of it. If people were watching this, which they were in other games. They keep referencing the past games, even though the past games has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Shut up! Knock off the bullshit. Only sick fucks would enjoy watching this. You got me. Hell yeah, if I wasn't in this killing game, I would have so much fun so watching. Funny. The nature of this killing game is yet shrouded in mystery. <laughs> but my role in it is over. I have finished my explanation to you, friends. Sister. I think I shall go and see her now, my beloved sister. sister. I was unable to send her 100 friends, but at least I can see her again now. Korekio. It's all right, sweet Korekio. Come to oh. me. Looks like you already prepared. Now then, let's get started. Punishment it's some punishment. Time. Yep. Huh? It's punishment time. Sister. Yep. My beloved sister, at long last, I'll finally get to see That's you again. Right. Yes, from now on, no one will try to stop us. We can be together without having to hide our love from others. Wait, wait I can't accept yeah. this. Like I said, there's no such thing as a death that can be accepted. Why do you think so many different cultures have funeral rites? Why do you think rumors of ways to resurrect the dead never cease? Yes. The living must find the reason, however forced, to accept death when it happens. How you come to terms with death also determines how you live, what yes? What was that? What? That was the answer I reached. How about you? How will you live a life that faces death? I prepared, I prepared, a, prepared a special punishment. Oh, Lord. Special punishment. Oh, Lord. I, shall I, will I will watch over you all as a ghost. As your friend, I will watch That's over right. you. It won't be just me and Korikio. All those who died will be watching. <laughs> I'll be watching to see how you face the death of your Humanity friend. I'll be watching beautiful. forever and ever. It's punishment time! Yo, this has to be the weirdest class trial ever. This has to be just the weirdest. All right. You know what? I don't even think that he would be dragged with it. I thought that he would, like, walk with him. Like, he was prepared to go. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Cultural melting pot. Hmm. Oh? They're spinning him around? Oh, they're spinning him around just like he spun Kayede's body around. Huh? Huh? Wow. Wow, Monadam, who you gonna kill? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, are they trying to drink? Oh, they're trying to cook his ass. Oh! They're trying to cook his ass. They're fueling that fire. My goodness. Mighty damn gonna push the red one. He gonna push the red one in there. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! He put himself in there! Oh, my God! even as a ghost oh my god he killed him twice oh my goodness ah oh, and he can't live his life with his sister damn damn what no my damn why yeah i don't <laughs> what the, to think my cute child would commit suicide it's so cute it's so freaking cute that he'd be killing himself because he couldn't get along <laughs> I don't know why he did that either. Monadam committed suicide. Had I known this would happen, I would have been nicer to him. The only reason Monadam obsessed over getting along is because everyone, everyone but me bullied him. That's right. Yes, the other Mana Cubs drove him to suicide, but not hey. me. Hey, uh, who's Monadam? Huh, you already forgot? That's kind of scary. Well, Aw, well, looks like another class trial is wrapped up without incident. So, I'm gonna take back this here Necronomicon. Wah, wah, Seems like wah. a waste, though. You guys sure you don't want to use it? <laughs> you guys should have brought someone back to life and added them to your roster. Shut up. How long are you gonna keep going and talking about that? I told you. Ignore them. The whole resurrection ritual is obviously a lie. He's just trying to shake us mentally to get us What's to panic. The point? I'm assuming you'll think another murder will happen if you do that, right? <laughs> Who can say? What a waste. If none of you were going to use it, you should have let me have it. Then I could have resurrected one of my dead siblings. Um, Which yeah. one? Well, I don't know. They were all pretty terrible, actually. Mm -hmm. Wait, did one of us die? I could have sworn it's just the two of us this whole time. Oh, yeah. 
It's too bad you missed your chance to raise the dead. That's what you get for doubting me. Too bad. Man. So long. Farewell. The Red Band's memory is getting worse and worse. I swear it is. Uh, um, Even now, he still talks about raising the dead. Man, this around. is stupid. What people believe in is up to them, but living people shouldn't have to suffer because of, of the course. dead. The living are more precious than the dead, no matter what. <sighs> That's not something a coward like you should say. <laughs> Shut up. Leave me alone. But there's one thing that Case taught me. I thought there was a god watching over us, but there isn't after all. Not in this academy. Mm. Yeah, you're, you're right. right. Well, that's why we have to work together, right? Face it together. Our ultimate talents are the best weapons Gonta we have. Gonta do his best. Then Gonta do his best to keep everyone safe. Gonta want to protect mm. everyone. But your talent is entomology. Mm. I don't want Shuichi to use his ultimate talent anymore. I'm getting sick of class you're trials. Right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> hey, your talent as an assassin is way more trouble. When are you going to use that, huh? <laughs> She's like, I can use it on you if you want to be the first one, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll work hard until everyone trusts my ultimate talent. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. It may not be possible now, but I'll put in an effort so everyone can trust me. I won't run anymore. I want to survive and escape this place with everyone. Maki, <laughs> I see. I wonder how long that'll last. What if your true calling as a killer shows? <laughs> don't underestimate her. Maki Roll is one of my sidekicks. I don't remember being your sidekick. Also, didn't I tell you to stop calling me Maki oh. Roll? Oh, you guys are so close now. This must be the powerful bond of friendship. But I would have preferred it to happen sooner, especially not after losing seven people. Yeah. You're right, only nine people left now. <laughs> well, what do you know? The dumbass can do basic math. Okay, let's stop coming for people, y'all. Can we be nice? For one episode, sheesh. That's right, seven pieces of shit have been flushed away and only nine remain. By that calculation, doesn't that make you one of the pieces? But Just nine of us. Humans are like weeds, too numerous to count. Seven of us dead doesn't mean each. Doesn't mean much in the end. That's totally what the heartless robot is thinking, right? Oh, no. no, I am not thinking that. Your blatant robophobia is simply inexcusable. But, you know. but hey, none of us gave up, right? I know we're all gonna escape. I'm not gonna rely on a god, spirits, or the I dead. believe in you. Just you guys. I believe in all okay. of you. Kaisa, well, of course. You're right. Those of us who remain can start over. <gasps> Hold up. Keyboy wants needs to apologize to everyone for the whole student council thing. And there's only one kind of apology that I'm willing to accept. How exciting. Take your head off and smash it onto the ground with all your strength. Got no that? way. I have never heard of such an intense form of apology. Don't do it, Kibo. You don't have to. It seems like everything is settled for now. Even though we're missing her. Hmm. Oh, right? Himiko, you okay? Anything Gonta can do to help? You can tell Gonta. Hey. I think we should let her have some space for now. That might be best for her. Okay. I remember how oh. I felt. Oh, Gonta understand. You're mm. so dumb. God, Himiko's such a liar. Huh? huh? Because I'm a liar. Personally, I don't think lies are exactly a bad thing. Let's face it, you wouldn't have any free will if the world was compromised, comprised with just but... the truth. But even then, I don't think it's good to lie to yourself, you know? Right. Oh? What are you saying? Think about Himiko's feelings a little uh -huh. bit. I only said this because I thought because... about it. Because? Himiko has been lying to herself about her own feelings, so she's been holding back. Hey. Hey, what are you oppressing? Why are you trying so hard to hold back? What? Hold back? Oh? Aww. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do. Well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. Aww. Aww. Aww, it's okay, baby. Tenko, Angie, I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely without you two. But I gotta survive. I still can't go to where you are. But I'm lonely. I'm so lonely without the both of you. Aw, baby, it's okay. Here we go. Damn it. Aw. I'm so sorry. Here we go cry for a long time. She cried as if she was releasing all the emotions she had bottled up inside. Before we knew it, as if lured by her doing so, we began crying. Aw. I'm sorry, Himiko. The tears we shed, I can't even describe it. We were crying about what we had been through and what has to come. Sadness, hatred, frustration, discord, anger, love, tears filled with emotion. But at the very least, they weren't tears of submission. They were tears to push us forward. Hmm. After a while, Himiko finally calmed down. However, oh, that's so sweet. Is she hard to carry, Gonta? No, Aww. she fought. She's sleeping very peacefully. Oh, she cried herself to She's sleep. She's all tuckered out after crying. Mm. Robots sleep well after leaking their oils too, right? Shut up, Okuchi. I've told you many times that right. I do not use oil as my fuel source. But wow, mm. that really surprised me. 
She passed out as soon as she stopped crying. Yeah, Aww. but she looks so peaceful sleeping like that. She probably felt better after letting it all out, don't you think? That's yeah, so sad. I hope so. Then Gonta carry Himiko to her room. But that's sweet of Gonta. <laughs> Make sure you focus real good on your back, you hear me? Why is she laughing like an evil You'll villain? You'll need that Come focus you. if you want to feel her little mosquito bites poking you. Oh my There's god. There's no way he'd do such a thing. Gonta is a gentleman after all. Exactly. He will never do that. Come on now. While we were heading back to the dorms, I suddenly noticed Kaito had stopped in his tracks. Oh? Hmm. Kaito was wrong. Nothing. I just wanted to get some air. Don't worry about me. Go on ahead. Huh? Are you well... sure? Anyway, don't do something like this again, okay? If you just like scary things, you should have said so earlier. I thought you were sick. <laughs> you worried about me? Yeah, worried about your stupidity. <laughs> She's like, don't even think about that. Still haven't warmed up to me, but... huh? Maybe not, but I feel like the walls we had up are coming down a little, you know? Perhaps those walls were her enemies. It seems like she doesn't want to wait anymore. Yeah, because of me. Okay. Yeah, maybe, but you sound like you're bragging, Kaizo. Huh. But like I said, I'm going to get some air before I go back. You can go okay. on ahead. Sure, got it. Got See it. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hopefully. I keep thinking he's going to die. <laughs> After our goodbyes, I returned to my dorm room. I didn't notice what was going on with Kaito. Huh. Oh? <laughs> oh? 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 Him. Oh, he's coughing blood. Damn it. I mm. don't have time to be dying. I still haven't gone into space yet. Hold Damn on. It. No way am I gonna die here. No Hold way. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. So he's really dying. This is why I'm always concerned about him. I had a reason to be. Oh my god. Wow. Nine people left. My goodness gracious, Kaito's dying. All right, y'all, so that is the end of chapter three for Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. So I did not expect Monadam to kill himself. I thought that he was gonna kill the red one, but he killed himself instead. Then I was right about Kyo being a killer, just not the right method, and then Kaito is actually sick. He's actually sick. I wonder if he has like cancer or something. Maybe that's why he's finding it so hard to go to the moon or to go to space and see the stars, you know? I don't know. I just didn't think that he'll be sick. Cause like every episode I'm like, oh, please don't be dead Kaito, please don't be dead. And now he's actually really sick. So that's wild. And then Corey Keogh's a whole serial killer. Killer Keo. okay? So it's, this is just a wild episode, okay? I know, I know it was a long episode, so if y'all stuck through to the end, I appreciate you. And if you did like the episode, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if y'all new, and I'll be back with another episode of this and some other stuff. So I'll see you guys later. And this is.